You're listening to the broadcast countdown for the Auburn Sports Network. Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in 12 minutes. Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in 10 minutes. Thank you. 
Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in eight minutes. Today's Auburn broadcast will begin in five minutes. Four minutes till start a broadcast.
This broadcast will begin in three minutes. Here's your two minute time check. Mark. Here comes your one minute time check for this Auburn broadcast. Mark. Thirty seconds till broadcast. Mark. Three ball, yeah! Spin move, broke in the hole with two hands. Three back, a way on down the hole for a two handed stop. Left hand ever. Listen to this roar. team has handled Auburn like Florida of late. As a matter of fact, Florida has beaten Auburn in three of the last four matchups. And tonight, Auburn opens its SEC schedule against Florida. Good evening and War Eagle from Neville Arena with eight-time Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law. I'm Andy Bertram. Auburn played its best half of basketball at Washington. The Tigers shot a blistering 72% from the field and pulled away for a convincing win in Seattle. Janai Broom and Jalen Williams scored 18 apiece and freshman guard Trey Donaldson chipped in with a career-high seven assists. Auburn moved to number 20 in the AP poll and 23 in the coaches' poll. Florida is under the direction of former Auburn assistant Todd Golden. The Gators are 7-5, led by senior post player Colin Castleton. The 6'11 grad student averages nearly 16 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 3.6 blocks per game. Auburn has the fifth longest home court winning streak in the country. The Tigers have won 25 in a row at Neville Arena. The last team to beat Auburn was Florida in February of 2021. The CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off starts now. The 
Exclusive pregame coverage of the Tigers begins now with the CBNS Bank countdown to tip off. Coming up, analysis, interviews, and a look around college basketball. At CBNS Bank, we've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Visit cbsbank.com. Alongside Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith, here's the voice of the Tigers, Andy Burcham. Well, the preliminaries are over. It's Southeastern Conference play across the SEC tonight with eight-time Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law. I'm Andy Burcham from Neville Arena where the Southeastern Conference defense of a conference championship starts tonight for the Auburn Tigers. Sonny Smith, Auburn played a magnificent half of basketball at Washington, but that was a week ago on the other side of the country. How can Auburn maintain that momentum through the Christmas break and play such a very good team and a team that has had Auburn's number like Florida tonight. Continue to shoot the ball the way that they did on that tour. If they shoot the ball at the home, they, their, their defense always carries them. It will carry them a lot more if that offense is in play. You hear Bruce Pearl talk about shooting in rhythm. And when this Auburn team is playing its best, Sonny, it is scoring in rhythm. A buddy in the second half when Auburn shot 72% from the four against Washington. And then at one point, Auburn made nine consecutive shots. It was shooting in rhythm. Well, I've said all along, if we shoot the ball, we're one of the better teams in the country. And we don't shoot the ball every night. But our defense has been able to carry us. Our taking care of the basketball has been able to carry us. We need to let that make it more of a carrier as shooting the ball consistently. This Florida team has played a brutal non-conference schedule, including UConn and Oklahoma. They were two of 22 from three-point range in the loss to Oklahoma just prior to Christmas. They've also gone on the road and overcome a 19-point deficit to win at Florida State. Auburn better be ready for the Gators tonight. Well, they may not be consistent all the time, but they're going to defend you well. They're going to rebound the ball pretty well, and they play 10 guys, so you're going to have to be ready for a lot of people. And Colin Castleton is at the head of this class. Yes, he is. 6'11", he's a fifth-year senior from Deland, Florida, transferred from Michigan, and has played his best basketball at Florida. Almost 16 points, seven and a half rebounds, 3.6 blocks per game. And even when Auburn has beaten Florida, they have not stopped 6'11", Colin Castleton. And remember, a year yeah. ago, Auburn had the defensive player, the national defensive player of the year in Walker Kessler. And Auburn still didn't stop Colin Castleton. Well, he's outside a lot. He runs the floor so well. You know, he's he's a little bit different than a big guy. He doesn't hang around the goal score with his back to the basket. He's a mover, and you've got to guard those guys a little different. Absolutely. Just because the weather's chilly doesn't mean Alabama farmers aren't busy growing high-quality products. Visit SweetGrowingAlabama.org to make your next visit and Tiger Watch Party a slam dunk. Visit Farm Fresh Greens or find Farm Fresh Greens meats and more at SweetGrownAlabama.org. Start of SEC play. It's already begun across the Southeastern Conference. And to bring you up to date, Bradford T. Law. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Great to be back at Neville Arena. Uh, it is the start of conference play for most SEC teams tonight, and we'll update plenty of games throughout the course of hours. Right now, only one game in progress. From the home of the reigning conference champions to every corner of the SEC, let's go around the most exciting conference in college basketball. This is the Toyota SEC Report. No matter your destination, Toyota goes with you. Toyota, let's go places. Number seven, Tennessee opening conference play at Ole Miss, and the Rebels had the hot hand early in Oxford, shooting 60% for the first 12 minutes of the ball game. But Tennessee has rallied to start the second half. Ole Miss led by six at the intermission. They've got nine minutes to go now. Tennessee has outscored Ole Miss 19-9 in the second half. Volunteers have the edge in a defensive struggle, 47 43. Still to come tonight at the top of the hour, two other games get underway, including 19th-ranked Kentucky playing at Missouri. Georgia, one more pre-conference game against Ryder, also at the top. And then at 7 o'clock Central Time tonight, number nine Arkansas plays at LSU, and eighth-ranked Alabama visits number 21 Mississippi State. More on those matchups uh, a little bit later on. Now it's time to talk about what's on the menu 
tonight. It's presented by Whataburger. Get ready for a flood of incredible texture and taste when you bite into the new Whataburger chili cheeseburger. Layers of tasty chili, crunchy corn chips, and crisp onions combined to create a delicious masterpiece available for a limited time. Coming up on the show tonight, it is a loaded show, a special connection between the Pearl family and Gator coach Todd Golden, 60-second scout of the Gators, our exclusive interview with Bruce Pearl, and coaches' keys to the game, all as the CBNS Bank countdown to tip-off continues in a moment. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Even putting back a few, and a few becomes a few too many. For a moment, you think of calling for a ride, but nah, you live nearby. What's the worst that could happen? You get pulled over, your insurance goes up, you lose your license, you total your car, you kill someone. The results of driving drunk are tragic. That's why law enforcement is out there looking for impaired drivers to save lives. So if you think you're okay to drive after a few drinks, think again. Drive sober or get pulled over. Paid for by NHTSA. How are you the ultimate Auburn fan? Because I got this air horn installed in my throat. Pretty sick, right? Yes. You look really sick. What doctor would even do this? Doctor? I did this myself. I mean, I can't swallow whole food, but still. Wait, what? Just got to plow through it. Hey, can I get a couple of soups up here? Uh, what about some caramel tea? Don't be that guy. Get a fan card. The smart way to be the ultimate Tigers fan. Just go to AuburnCards.com. Thinking of advancing your career with a master's degree in business? If so, consider the graduate degree choices at Auburn University's Herbert College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best, we offer full-time and online programs in finance, supply chain management, information systems, accounting, and business administration. Learn more at harbert.auburn.edu. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. About 20 minutes away from Auburn and Florida and the SEC lid lifter. And the Auburn Tigers put their trust in Auburn AV every home game for the best fan experience, and so should you. Bring the basketball game home when you have an Auburn AV uh, crew design and install your home entertainment system, all with frustration-free controls. Visit Auburn AV. Com. Florida coach Todd Golden and Auburn's Pearl family go way back. The roots of the relationship are deeper than when Golden served as an assistant here on the Plains early in BP's tenure. Stephen Pearl talks about it with Andy Burcham. Coach, you talk about your relationship with, with Todd Golden as a player and as a, as a coach. So it goes back to uh, back to my senior year of high school, like 2006, when we went over to Australia and played in the Saudi games together. And ever since then, I've just been really good friends. You know, played together in Israel in 2009 for, for the World Games again. Won gold medals twice together, and have just stayed in contact, you know, ever since. And, and basically turned into brothers. So, uh, and then obviously getting into coaching, um, you know, Coach, Coach Golden is a big reason why I decided to get back into coaching. Uh, he was at Columbia at the time. And then we get down to Auburn, and my first call was to Todd to say, hey, you know, do you want to <laughs> help us rebuild this program and sure enough you know he was interested enough to, to come down and, and spend a couple years down here with us and then obviously you know uh, the rest is history and now he's you know the head coach at florida a little bit different approach to today's game uh i mean a little bit you know leading up to it's a little different but at the end of the day you know you know we're, we're trying to get a win i don't care who's on the other side i don't, I don't care if you know if i'm one day if i'm coaching Ten down there and bp's down here like i'm gonna want to you know kick as you know what because at the end of the day like we're, we're trying to get a win and um but no i mean it's an interesting dynamic and obviously i cheer for him in every game except for today except today no doubt about it golden is the guy leading the gator program his first floor Florida team is 7-5 and five so far. They faced one of the toughest schedules in the nation. Some of those losses include Oklahoma, Xavier, West Virginia, and UConn. Mike Burgermaster gives us his 60-second scout of tonight's opponent. Yeah, so Florida, um, you know, is a, a really solid team. Um, you know, everything starts and ends with Castleton. Um, you know, he is uh, the, the guy on their team that receives most of the usage. Um, you know, he's going to have the, the ball in his hands. 
pretty much every possession. So our ability to defend him, not just one on one, but you know, using all five of our guys to help defend him um, will be a big you know factor in the game. And then from there, it's taken away. You know, they're really talented catch and stick shooters. You know, number five, Will Richard, number fourteen, Kwasi Reeves. Um, you know, and, and, and keeping their guards um, from making open shots. What do you expect defensively? Ten seconds. Um, defensively, they're going to play us man to man. You know, they don't do a lot of switching. Um, you know, and so we got to find ways to take advantage of that. Um, you know, and um, yeah, it's going to be all man to man. That's 60 Second Scouts presented by the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business. Accelerate your career with an online MBA from the Harbert College of Business. Learn why they're ranked among the nation's best. Go online to harbert.auburn.edu. Florida won its only true road game of the pre-conference slate at Florida State before Thanksgiving. This is a battle-tested team coming in here to Neville Arena tonight. Speaking of coming to Neville Arena or anywhere else the Tigers play, StubHub's the easiest way to experience every Auburn game. Check that virtual view, score your seats, get your tickets delivered instantly. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of Auburn Athletics. StubHub, be there. Up next, Andy Burcham's exclusive pregame conversation with head coach Bruce Pearl. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Put an orange and blue bow on an Auburn basketball game day with the Regions Bank Post Game Show. Exclusive interviews with Coach Pearl and players, plus final analysis, a complete breakdown of the numbers, and a look ahead to the next game. Regions Bank is a proud supporter of Auburn Athletics and the official bank of the SEC. It's the perfect way to put the finishing touches on an Auburn game day. The Regions Bank Post Game Show, only on the Auburn Sports Network. Did you know the average piece of produce travels 1,500 miles to reach your plate? When you buy local, you shorten your supply chain and reduce fuel emissions to contribute to a more sustainable world. I'm Ellie Watson, the director of Sweet Grown Alabama, a program designed to help you find locally grown products. Visit sweetgrownalabama.org to search for locally grown produce, meat, honey, and more in your area. How are you the ultimate Auburn fan? Because I got this air horn installed in my throat. Pretty sick, right? Yes. You look really sick. What doctor would even do this? Doctor? I did this myself. I mean, I can't swallow whole food, but still. Wait, what? Just got to plow through it. Hey, can I get a couple of soups up there? Uh, what about some cow milk tea? Don't be that guy. Get a fan card. The smart way to be the ultimate Tigers fan. Just go to auburncards.com. We always picture the SEC student athlete for their speed, their vertical, their agility, but it's time we picture them for more. For their campus voice, their community outreach, and for the simple fact that 20 years later, they're still someone's pride and joy. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. presents our exclusive pre-game visit with head coach Bruce Pearl. At Auburn, we revere our traditions. Ford has a tradition too, building trucks that are smart, dependable, and built Ford tough. That's why Ford F-150 is the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Here's Andy Burcham with Coach Pearl. Well, this Florida team has played well against Auburn in, in recent years. What, what is it about Florida that has made it such a tough game for this Auburn team? You know, Andy, I think since I've been in the league now and I, I got to uh, Tennessee in 2005, um, you know, Billy Donovan was a the coach then. And, you know, Florida and Kentucky were kind of the two best teams in the league uh, when I was at Tennessee. And then when I got to Auburn, Billy was still there, but it was sort of sort of the end of his. So Florida's always been, uh, you know, the top uh, three or four programs in our league. And so that's why the record is, is what it is. And then um, under Coach White, they, they were competitive. They did well, but not quite to Billy's standard. And now he's at Georgia. And so now Todd Golden takes over. Um, it's one of the best jobs in our league from a basketball standpoint because of its they've won some national championships recently. And uh, the O'Connell Center is a tough place to play in. Um, and so it's probably more the function that they've, that they've been pretty good. Talked with Stephen a little bit earlier in the pregame just about the relationship with Todd Golden. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard that, that he was making that move from, from San Francisco to the Gators? Well, I knew about it a lot 
sooner than most people did because, you know, Jay Jacobs is the number two at Florida. Right. And, uh, uh, and and uh, Florida had called, and I uh, talked about several candidates that they were looking at. And Todd was actually in a pool of a lot of guys that are in the SEC right now, uh, guys that went to, you know, whether it be Missouri or, or Mississippi State. or Those were the guys that were so young, up-and-coming coaches that were out there. And Todd was certainly one of them. And uh, I thought it was a great hire and a great fit, and, uh, and, he's, and he's doing a you know, really good job with his team. I think this Florida team has played the toughest schedule uh, in the SEC. Um, they've lost five quad one games, and uh, there isn't a single one of those games. They were in, you know, three or four of them um, right down to the end. Um, and so I think as, as even though this is December, in late December, I think both Auburn and Florida are still trying to learn a lot about, you know, where we are as, as teams. And so this is a team, this is a Florida team, that will finish someplace uh, in the upper in the upper half of our league. What makes Colin Castleton such a tough match? Well, he's he's six eleven. He he knows he's the best offensive player on the floor. He wants the ball. Um, he's got you know he's got a good you know 15, 17 foot jump shot. He's got a good rip game, uh, and he could score over, over either shoulder with his back to the basket. He does a great job getting fouled. Every time he shoots the ball inside, he, you know he he makes lots of noises to make the whistle blow, and gets to the foul line a lot. Um, he's a really smart, really smart offensive player, and and both Jenai Broom and Dylan Cardwell can guard him, uh, but they're gonna, they're going to need some help from their friends. What do you see out of the guards, the the, the guards for this Florida ball club? Well, you know, I, I think uh, the point guard uh, Lofton is a dangerous cover because he can really get downhill. He was a three-time first team All League A10 player at St. Bonaventure. Took those took those guys to the NCAA tournament, um, and is really getting by you. Really good getting by you. And then he makes a lot of things happen for everybody else. Um, and then the other guys are, you know, they've got three or four dynamic three-point shooters that in the big games just haven't made shots, but made shots in all the games they've won. Um, and they've got three or four guys that are shooting in the low 40 percentage-wise, um, you know, from three. And so if you get that, you got a guard like, you know, um, Lofton who can get by you, a center at the rim, and then guys on a perimeter that can make shots, it's a very difficult uh, formula to be able to to guard. It's just that they've not put it together just yet. Um, and um, and so we, we got to make sure that a couple of the three-point shooters don't get off tonight. What did you see from your team in the second half of the win at Washington? Well, I mean, we, we did a good job of getting the ball where we wanted to get it, spots on the floor. Um, you know, Washington is a good team, not a great team, you know, and we knew that going in. We knew of the two games that was the one that we'd have a better chance to win. It moved the needle for us a lot. We jumped 20 points in net going on the road, playing a, f a power f five conference team. There, there are only about a handful of power five conference teams that lose, uh, you know, in, in the non-conference like that. So it was a good game. I thought we shared it. You know, I thought we you know, did a good job of not turning it over. And Jalen Williams and Jenny Broom did a great job of finishing. Um, you know, there's going to be more size and more th athleticism you know, tonight in there, but, but uh, you know, I think that I think we're a team that needs to play through our inside guys. I think you're going to see us go inside early to both Janai and, you know, Jalen, and, and inside shots lead to inside rebounds, which we are a pretty good offensive rebounding team. And um, I think one of the keys for us is to not turn the ball over offensively. Um, if, if our guys are out there and they're, they're, they're turning the ball over, they're making mistakes, and that's going to lead to easy offense at the other end for Florida. All the best tonight, War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle, a tradition that can mean hello or goodbye. It's our battle cry, our family. It's what Auburn is all about. Ford Motor Company has a powerful tradition, too. An unwavering commitment to build smarter, tougher, more dependable trucks. Ford F-150, it's a truck I drive and the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Visit buyfordnow.com or your local Ford dealer. Tell them Coach Pearl sent you. Auto models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for more information. North American beavers are excellent swimmers, but on land, they waddle about clumsily. That is until they spot the yellow tag on a stack of yellow wood brand pressure treated pine. Their instincts kick in and the colony springs into action. <laughs> Just like that, these master builders make off with their new found building materials. For five-star backyards, yellow wood brand pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. Did you know the average piece of produce travels 1,500 miles to reach your plate? 
When you buy local, you shorten your supply chain and reduce fuel emissions to contribute to a more sustainable world. I'm Ellie Watson, the director of Sweet Grown Alabama, a program designed to help you find locally grown products. Visit sweetgrownalabama.org to search for locally grown produce, meat, honey, and more in your area. Kia of Auburn is happy to connect the Kia brand to the Auburn fans. Our winning lineup has something for everyone at almost any budget. SUVs like the Telluride, Sorento, and Sportage. You prefer a sedan? Check out the Rio, Forte, Soul, or the Sporty Stinger. And don't forget our new multi-purpose vehicles. The Carnival are our amazing hybrid or electric vehicles. Kia of Auburn is a proud supporter of Auburn Athletics. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Whoa, Regal. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. We'll start with a medical report brought to you by East Alabama Health. Need emergency care? Check out the new freestanding emergency department located in their new Auburn Medical Pavilion in the Auburn Research Park. Tigers healthy to start conference play, and that is always a plus. Now let's bring in Coach Sonny Smith and get some Hall of Fame keys to this game. Conference play, it's it, it's got to feel a little bit different, doesn't it, Coach, for the players? No, oh, there's no question. You've got to be more ready. Every team is, is better scouted, know more about one another, know how much the league means to win games. This is going to be a big game right here. Speaking of scouting, plenty of opportunities to scout Colin Castleton. He has been so good, particularly against Auburn, but he's just a consistent threat in the paint. How does Auburn best defend Castleton? Well, I, I think you can't let him outrun you down the court. You, you've got to make him score half-court baskets and not let him beat you. You've got to keep him off the backboard. Another thing that's going to be really important is keeping him on the back. And guard that three-point line with the rest of those other guys because they can put it up from out there and make shots. Florida comes in top ten in the country in blocked shots, but Auburn's last two opponents were top five in blocked shots, and they only blocked a total of five in those two games. Auburn has done well at... at, at not having the rim protected against them, that they're scoring despite facing good shot blocking teams. Well, I think we move the ball around. I think when we get it into the post, it's because you've got a, go a good opportunity to get the shot. And if you don't, you get a pass out, it's going to get you something. And I think we're better out of post play than most teams. All right, look forward to Coach Sonny Smith's call of this game with Andy Burcham. Coach's keys to the game presented by Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Lineups and tip off next. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Hey Tiger fans, celebrate the new year with Auburn women's basketball on New Year's Day as the Tigers host Missouri in their SEC home opener. Tip-off is 3 p.m. Central, and tickets are available starting at just $6. It's the second year for Coach Johnny Harris on the Plains. Her Tigers need your support as they battle through the Southeastern Conference. Visit AUBTIX.com and make your plans now to see Auburn take on Missouri at Neville Arena. New Year's Day at 3 p.m. Central. War Eagle! Are you looking to advance your career without putting your life on hold? Consider the flexibility of an online MBA at Auburn University's Harvard College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best by U.S. News and World Report, our 100% online MBA program provides the flexibility you need to pursue a degree while maintaining your personal and professional life. Learn more at harvard.auburn.edu. When you see the SEC student athlete, it's easy to picture the swing, the stance, the form. But look closer, and you see the heart, the brain, the clutch lab partner, the avid two-stepper, the pride of a hometown, and a little brother's hero. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. This is Auburn.
Auburn basketball. And these are the Yellowwood starting lineups for the Tigers. Leads it left side, Green to the corner, Zep for three. Got it! Three ball, Zep Jasper, yes! Oh, Zep for three! Zep Jasper, senior, Augusta, Georgia, Lucy C. Laney High School. Into the hole off the glass, got it at the buzzer! Window, three ball, yes! Oh. <laughs> Window! I'm gonna get his autograph, he keeps playing like this. Window Green Jr. Junior, Detroit, Michigan, Wallamere High Glasses School. Passes it underneath, and Moore puts it in, and a foul in the play. Down the lane. Moore to the hole with the two-handle. Chris Moore, Junior, West Memphis, Arkansas, Academy of West Memphis. Jalen Williams for his first dunk. Whoa, baby, was that nice. Williams on a breakaway. Left hand hammer. Cross court, right wing, Williams, three. Got it. Jalen Williams, Senior, May Hunter, Georgia, Bramley County High School. Had it, got it back, and put it in. There's the double dunk. To Broom, up and in with a foul in the play. Then move Broom to the hole with two hands. And now Broom, sophomore, Plant City, Florida, Kemba Catholic. Introducing the first stain worthy of the yellow tag. From the makers of Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine comes Yellowwood Protector. After all, if it's good enough to earn that little yellow tag, then it's the perfect finish for your five star backyard. Hubbard is 10 and 2, ranked number 20 in the AP poll, 23 in the coaches poll, 55 in the NCAA net, and 17 in the Ken Palm rankings. Before we get to the starting lineup for the Gators, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Florida is seven and five, not ranked in the AP or coaches poll, 68 in the NCAA net and 50 in the Ken Palm rankings under the direction of Todd Golden in his first season. In, in uh, Gainesville, a record of 7-5, fourth season as a head coach, a record of 64-41. and 41. Kyle Lofton at the point, 6'3", grad student, transfer from St. Bonaventure. Eight points, 2.9 rebounds, 3.9 assists. Trey Bonham on one wing, a six-foot junior from Mobile, a transfer from BMI, 10.2 points and 2.8 rebounds. Will Richard on the other wing, a 6'4 sophomore from Fairburn, Georgia, and a transfer from Belmont, 10.7 points, four rebounds. Alex Fudge on the inside, transfer from LSU, 6'9 sophomore, originally out of Jacksonville, Florida, averaging 8.2 points, 5.4 rebounds, and Colin Castleton controls the inside for the Gators. 6'11 senior from DeLand, Florida, originally went to Michigan, has spent the bulk of his career in Gainesville, Averaging this season 15.8 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 3.6 blocks per game. Auburn is in the home white tops and bottoms. The orange numerals and lettering, or excuse me, the blue numerals and lettering in the orange trim. The Gators in their royal blue away uniforms with the orange numerals and lettering and the white trim. The officials tonight, Pat Adams, Terry Oglesby, and Byron Jarrett. Well. The non-conference season, for the most part, is over. There is one non-conference game coming up in January when Auburn plays at West Virginia in the SEC Big 12 Challenge. But from here on out, for the most part, it's Southeastern Conference basketball, two games a week. Auburn will play tonight. Then we'll have the week off before it gets ready to go on the road for the first time, going to Georgia a week from tonight. It is a packed house at Neville Arena, in spite of the fact that students are not here, the jungle behind us is packed and ready for the Florida Gators. Florida has played very well against Auburn. They've won three of the last four against Auburn, and they were the last team to beat Auburn here at Neville Arena back in 2021. Well, they're good. They're good in all phases. They're good offense, they're really good defense, they really got good depth. And those are three things you got to have to win in this league. Auburn hasn't played a lot of teams with this kind of depth. No, the kind of depth is. that Auburn will throw at you, Sonny. Yeah, it might be It might be the biggest factor in the game, the Could depth, be. how the depth play. Colin Castleton into the center circle for Florida. Janai Broom for Auburn. Auburn has won almost every opening tap this season. I say that tonight and watch what happens, but that is something that Auburn has done, and Janai Broom has done remarkably well for the Tigers, for what it's worth. Andy, a big thing here might be foul trouble because they both teams play 10 right. players. Pat Adams into the center circle. The tap is controlled by Auburn. 
Tigers will go to the basket to our left, and we're underway for the start of Southeastern Conference play. Wendell Green across midcourt picks up Trey Bottom. On the wing for Zepp Jasper right side. Down to the baseline for Jalen Williams, and it's tapped out of bounds by Alex Fudge. Fudge is 6'9". Of course, Jalen 6'8". Auburn will have it out of bounds, baseline right, and Jalen will trigger for Auburn. Florida playing man for man. Lob it into Chris Moore at the top of the circle. One dribble, now into the lane for Jalen. Ball knocked out of his hand, and there's a steal by Bonham. Drives to the hole, gets tied up, and out of bounds off of Bonham. Zepp Jasper got back to break up that fast break. Well, you won't see defense played any better than Zepp Jasper played it on that. Everything was in their favor, but we turned it. Jasper got back, tied up Bonham, and then the ball hit Bonham's knee and went out of bounds. They press inbound to Janai Broom. Now Jalen Williams to Wendell Green across midcourt with 25 to shoot. They're going, to keep, they're going to try to keep the hand, ball out of the hands of the point guard. Off the left wing, Jasper. Down to the low post, Janai Broom outside the lane. Top of the circle, Jalen. Three ball, yes! Great movement, inside out. Inside out's going to hurt them because they sink on the post to heaven. 3 nothing Auburn, 19-12 in the first half of play. Here's Kyle Lawpin, grad student, a transfer from St. Bonaventure, running the point for Todd Golden's Florida Gators. Lofton picks up the dribble, bounce pass to Castleton outside the arc, top of the key. Off the left side it goes to Lofton, picked up by Zepp Jasper. Down the left side of the lane for Castleton. Castleton back to the basket, double team. Right wing, bottom, head fake at three. Into the corner it goes. Three ball from the corner, no good. Weak side rebound, Jalen Williams. Great defense, a lot of patience by Florida. Auburn on the break, Janai Broom. Back to the basket, spins, down to the baseline. Chris Moore, hang, shoot, oh, score! Woo, what a hesitation play by Chris Moore. Five nothing Auburn, 18-30 in the first half. And the crowd immediately into this ball game. Woo, that'll get you in. Off the right side, Richard. Left hand dribble, brings it top of the circle and throws it out of bounds. Threw it right to Bruce Pearl. Denying the ball on the wing certainly makes it difficult entry and we made it more than difficult on that play. Two turnovers for the Gators early on. Auburn up 5-0, 18-20 in the first half. They're pressing full court. Wendell Green across midcourt, picked up by Trey Bonham. Between the legs, dribble behind the back, dribble off the right side. Lobs it top of the circle, Jalen Williams. Janai Broom into the lane. Head fake against Castleton, out to the top. Jalen, head fake at three. Free throw line, 15-footer, he missed it long. Got his own rebound, but Castleton pulls it away, and Broom takes it away. Second Auburn shot. ball. Second shots, wins games. Green in the, in the key, drives into the lane. 15-footer, Wendell missed it short. Rebound, Castleton clears for the Gators. Outlet up the right sideline for Kyle Lofton. Lofton on the left-hand dribble. Off the left side it goes for Fudge. Three ball on the wing, in and out. Rebound underneath Fudge, goes up, missed it. Rebound comes to Broom. Outlet up the right side for Wendell Green. Behind the back dribble to the free throw line. Leaves it for Jalen, head fake at three. Onto the wing, Zep pops a three, no. And the rebound fought for it, it comes to Wendell. Into the key, no look underneath, Moore with the two-hand dunk. That's called a steal and a basket by a great pass to the post. Seven nothing Auburn, 17-14 in the first half of play. Chris Moore with four early points for Auburn. Bottom, working on Wendell Green. Looks for Castleton, gets it to Colin, top of the circle. Throws it off the right wing for Richard. Richard drives on Chris Moore, that's five against number five. Fudge, pull up three, right side, switch. Well, you gotta be on a catch and shoot situation. He's a heck of a shooter. Eighth three of the year for Fudge, 7-3 Auburn. 16-46 in the first half of play. Wendell Green, top of the circle, gets a screen from Moore. Drives out to the right side, 17 to shoot for Auburn. On the wing, Jalen Williams. Williams looks back to the top for Green. Top of the key for Broom. 10 to shoot, drives past Castleton to the hole, he missed it. Rebound Moore, back up, he didn't get it. And Fudge gets the rebound for the Gators. Second shots could win this game, we gotta knock him down though. Bonham across midcourt for Florida. Auburn up 7-3, 16-18 in the first. Lofton works on Zepp Jasper. Dylan Cardwell at the next break for Auburn. Lofton drives top of the key, leaves it off the right side, Bonham wide open three ball, missed it long. Rebound Moore, outlet Wendell Green. Giving them one shot, that's big. Green, across midcourt, top of the circle, free throw line, down the lane, up and under, ball is blocked by Castleton. Rebound out of there, and here is Bonham on the break for the Gators. At the top, it's Richard for three. He missed that one, and the rebound pulled in by Broom. Ahead, Zep Jasper across midcourt. 
Top of the circle, Moore. Left wing, Jalen Williams. 7-3 Auburn, 15-38 in the first half of play. Wendell on the left-hand dribble. 18 to shoot for the Tigers. Wendell spins, gets it to Broom. Top of the circle, down the lane, and a whistle and a foul will be called against Fudge, his first of the night. And it takes us to our first media timeout. 15-29 to go in the first half of play. Auburn seven, Florida three. For every Auburn three-pointer, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services donates $25 to Coach Pearl's Outlive Cancer Initiative, benefiting local cancer patients and treatment centers. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Hey, this is head coach Bruce Pearl. Here at Auburn, we revere our traditions. But it's the tradition of hard work that really speaks to me. It's about improving your game every single day and being the best that you can be. In the truck game, Ford has a tradition too. A relentless commitment to building smarter, tougher, and more dependable trucks. That's why I drive Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for more information. Hey, I'm Charles Barkley. Call for a Redmond and water at bars and restaurants throughout the great state of Alabama. Redmond Vodka, available at select ABC stores and package stores. Redmond Vodka is eight times distilled, gluten-free, and is made from non-GMO corn. Looking to support a local business? Redmond Distilling is Alabama proud and minority owned. Learn more online at redmonddistilling.com. In SEC Sports, the ifs come at you every minute. What if your QB had released the ball a second earlier? What if the head coach hadn't used his last time out? What if your team goes all the way this season? If you love the tradition, if you live for the rivalry, if you can't wait each week for the absolute edge of your seat action, Regions is right there with you as the official bank of the SEC. Regions can't help you with the ifs in sports. Regions helps you embrace the ifs in life. Member FDIC. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AU Sports Network. Now back to more Auburn basketball. 15-29 to go in the first half. Auburn 7, Florida 3 in the SEC opener for both schools. You talk about second chance points. Sonny Auburn already has three offensive rebounds in the first four and a half minutes of the game. Also three assists on three made field goals. So Auburn dishing the ball well and hitting the glass early on. Yeah, I noticed one thing. We're playing well, a uh, good start, but every time the ball goes into the post, they're doubling it on us. If we can kick it out and get a couple of threes and that to add to the way we're playing right now, I think they might be in a little bit of trouble here in the first half. Auburn is one of two from three. The Gators are one of five from three. So taking this ball game and back to the Oklahoma game, which was their game prior to this one, they are three of 27 from the three-point stripe in the last game and well, four and a half minutes into this one. KD Johnson into the lineup for Auburn. So is Alan Flanagan. So is Trey Donaldson. So is Dylan Cardwell. So four newcomers out there for the Tigers joining Jalen Williams on the floor for the Auburn Tigers. We're four and a half minutes into the SEC opener. Auburn leads it 7-3 and Auburn will have the ball out of bounds. 20 to shoot for the Tigers. Ball out of bounds. Baseline left. Now, I say it a lot, but we're good on out-of-bounds plays. Even if we don't get the shot, we get the second shot. And you you say it a lot because it's true. It is so true. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't tell it often, but I told it. <laughs> See who the Gators counter with. Fudge is out there. So is Castleton. Kwesi Reeves is into the lineup. So is Myron Jones for the Gators. Joining Castleton and Lofton. Auburn ball inbound, Flanagan. Donaldson at the top, Cardwell. Two trade Donaldson, left wing, top of the circle, Flanagan. Allen inside the arc, 17 footer, in and out. Woo, that was in the bucket. Rebound pulled in by Lofton, up the floor for the Gators. Auburn up 7 3, 15 12 in the first. Bounce pass to Jones. Myron Jones, top of the circle. Off the left side, back door. Lofton puts it up and scores. Florida's offense is motion. Back cuts, a lot, of, lot, lot of dives to the basket away from the ball. 7-5 Auburn, 14-55 in the first. Donaldson to Flanagan. Allen on the left-hand dribble, crossover down the left side of the lane. Underneath, tried to get it to uh, Cardwell, threw it away. Castleton comes up with the steal for the Gators. Lofton up the floor, into the right corner. Fudge drives into the lane. Fade away, puts it up, it was an air ball. 
and it goes out of bounds to the Tigers. I think they're a little afraid of our offense. If we get our defense, the way we're pushing them out on the floor, I think they're looking yeah. for shots off the drive a little bit more. One of the things that Bruce Pearl told his team in the photo se in the, the uh, film session, they'd be physical against this team. Well, Underneath it goes to Williams, and the ball batted out of bounds from behind. Well, we certainly Bush. are physical. Absolutely, really physical. And he this wants game. this team to be even more physical. Well, he's substituting a number of guys, playing 10 guys, and you can be more physical that way. Cardwell, hands to Jalen Williams, into the key. Working on Castleton, between the legs dribble. Up with the left hand, it's short. Now Castleton gets the rebound. That's his shot, and he usually makes that shot. 7-5 Auburn, 14-06 in the first half of play. Auburn has missed its last five and only has hit one of its last nine field goals. Lofton works against Donaldson, top of the circle. Gets the ball off the left side, a whistle, and uh, Kowasi Reeves walked. Uh, I thought to say, he already had a half a mile on those three or four steps, so we gotta, we gotta keep him walking, not running, keep him walking. Third turnover against the Gators, who go to the bench, and C.J. Felder, a 6'7 senior, a transfer from Boston College, is into the lineup for Florida. Andy, we're shooting a little quicker than they are. They're taking more time trying to get a shot. We're shooting quick. I think we both need to do a little different, them and us. Donaldson, Cardwell back to Donaldson outside the arc. KD Johnson, open three, didn't take it inside the arc. 17-foot fadeaway, good. Good looking shot. Push in on the dribble and step away. That's a great move when he makes that. Separation, he has the open shot, hit yes. it, 9-5 Auburn. 13-30 in the first half of play. Lofton across midcourt. Kicks it on the right wing for Reeves. Reeves top of the circle now for Myron Jones. Gets a screen from Castleton up from about 15 feet and he buries it. Jones is, a, is an Alabama guy. We don't want him to get real happy because he's at home. 9-7 Auburn, 13-08 first half of play. Donaldson leaves for Katie Johnson top of the circle. Down the right side of the lane. Gets bumped, goes off the glass. He didn't get it. And the rebound to Castleton for the Gators. Brings it up the floor at six foot 11. Bounce pass loft into the hole, puts it up, nobody's fouled. I think they'll get Jalen Williams yes. for the foul. We didn't get back in the way that we can. And they're looking to push on every play. So we're gonna have to put get back on defense as a number one priority. The Gators shoot 73.8% from the line and Lofton 81%. Out of Hillside, New Jersey, his first of two, it is good. They go to the bench, Costleton comes out. And big Jason Jatobo, a 6'11", 300 pound senior from Abuja, Nigeria, is in on the low post. Lofton can tie it. Yeah, you don't want Lofton does. on that line a lot. He shoots over 80%. He's really good free throw shooter. Four points for Lofton, 9-9 nine, nine is the score. Auburn just one of his last seven from the field. Donaldson between the rings. Broom. And Yohan Treor into the lineup for Auburn at the next break. Flanagan, right hand dribble, now to KD Johnson, top of the circle. Between the legs dribble, crossover. Drives and a whistle and a hand check against Myron Jones. His first, team second. And here comes Broom and Treor replacing Cardwell and Jalen Williams. Now we're playing 10 guys, and they're playing a lot of people also. Uh, the bench could be a factor. We don't know who our bench players are. They're all about the same. God, everybody's good. Flanagan will trigger in front of the Florida bench down the right sideline, now in front of the scorer's table. Bounce pass, Trey Donaldson. We're tied at nine, Auburn ball. Broom, bounce pass, Trey or top of the key, left side Donaldson, low post. Broom against Jatobo. Fade away, up with the left hand. Yes, and a foul! Hit the iron, bounced straight up and fell through, and Jatobo is called for the foul. Jatobo is a guy that doesn't have great quickness, got very good strength, and we go in there right now, make a move, like get a, a, a dribble to the right, and go back to the left type of thing, gonna hurt him. Jatobo wears glasses. He had a, a season-ending eye injury last year. Broom's free throw is missed. Rebound, Flanagan for Auburn. To the wing, KD. Drives inside, down, goes up, whistle foul. He'll go to the line for two. He's getting so much better at drawing fouls and making people go to him. But I think scouting, of course, got to do a lot to do with that. He's because you better guard KD on a drive because he's so effective. C.J. Felder, the transfer from Boston College, playing in his 81st career game, 
Whistle for the foul, and KD's at the line for two. The first is good. Junior out of Atlanta, transferred from Georgia. Double figures in five of his last seven games. He has given Auburn a three-point lead, can make it four right here. 12-17, first half of play, KD makes both. All right, now we're going to press, and this is a press to try to get a steal on the first pass. 13-9 Auburn. Lofton, the inbound into the corner for Myron Jones. And he'll bring the ball up the floor against Allen Flanagan. Jones across midcourt with a couple seconds to spare on the 10-second clock. Jones between the rings. Lofton hands back to Myron Jones. Now picked up by Katie Johnson in the switch. Two Lofton picked up by Flanagan. Drives down the left side, kicks it on the wing. Kwasi Reeves, three ball. No, long rebound, Donaldson. Auburn with numbers the other way. Florida gets back, and Donaldson throws it away. Tried to feed Broom underneath. The ball never got there. No, he was open also. Lofton up the floor for the Gators. Auburn by four, Florida ball. Lofton gets a screen from Jatobo. Off the left side it goes for Reeves. Goes baseline and jams it with the right hand. We're denying the ball to the wing, and they're getting it there, and they've got a straight drive to the basket. Got to protect the rim a little better than we're doing right now. 13-11 Auburn, 11-22 in the first half. Broom at the free throw line against Jatobo. Puts it on the floor and drives, and the ball is kicked out of bounds off of uh, Florida. Auburn ball. Stops the clock with 11-18 to go in the first half of play. Timeout on the floor. Auburn 13, Florida 11. Auburn basketball is brought to you in part by Ford. Check out the Ford F-150 at your local Ford dealer. F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Hey, Tiger fans. Join Coach Johnny Harris and the Auburn women's basketball staff for the Coach J Show. The show will air live on location from Baumhauer's Victory Grill every Monday at 6 p.m. in January and February. Get the latest updates on the Tigers while enjoying delicious food from Baumhauer's. The show will be available locally on FM Talk 93.9 FM and anywhere else on the Auburn Game Day app. Make your plans now to join us for the Coach J Show at Baumhauer's Victory Grill, Mondays at 6 in January and February. War Eagle. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight. The moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. Koneka Sausage is a product we all know and love, and it's the official sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Koneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, patented blend of seasonings, all natural casings, and smoked over a pure hickory fire for that true southern flavor. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Koneka Sausage dog or premium hot dog while watching the Tigers and make Koneka part of your game day or any day. Koneka Sausage is celebrating their 75th year of the Sessions family, making their premium smoked sausage in Evergreen, Alabama. Be sure to visit the new Koneka gift shop right off I-65 at exit 96. Brad Law courtside at Neville Arena as we check the Yellowwood scoreboard. Other SEC games right now. Dennis Gates' first uh, SEC game as the head coach at Missouri, hosting Kentucky tonight. And the Tigers are white hot shooting early, leading the 19th ranked Wildcats 17 to 10. 12 minutes and change to go in the first half there. One final from conference play. It is Tennessee coming from behind and then hanging on to win at Ole Miss 63 to 59. Outside the league, it's Georgia 19, Ryder 8. They've got 10 and a half minutes to go in the first half in Athens. That's where Auburn will be next Wednesday night in conference play. Still loads of time here. Tigers on top of the Gators, 13-11, 11-18 to go in the first half. Back to the voice of the Tigers in the Hall of Fame coach, Andy Burcham and Sonny Smith. Auburn ball out of bounds, baseline right. That game next Wednesday, Auburn's next game at Georgia is a 5.30 central time tip-off from Stegman Coliseum. Our game, our broadcast begins at 5. Yohan Treor. Wendell Green, Janai Broom, Allen Flanagan, KD Johnson, the Auburn five. 19 on the shot clock for Auburn, 11-18 in the first half. Auburn leads Florida 13 to 11. We're good on out of bounds plays. I say that a lot, but you watch. I think we're gonna get one right here. I'm feeling it. Treor will trigger for the Tigers. Lobs it over the head of Broom who runs it down near midcourt. 
Janai looking for a guard, hands the ball to Wendell Green, 12 to shoot. Green drives, hands the ball to Flanagan with a screen from Broom. Allen picks up the dribble. Bounce pass, KD, three to shoot. KD on the wing, lobs it up there. Didn't get it, shot clock violation. Well, one thing you say for sure, the, the, the game is being played very physical by both teams. The referees are letting them play. So we're going to have to figure up something to get off a good shot because they're really both teams defending well. Shot clock violation against Auburn gives Florida a chance to tie or take the lead. Under 11 minutes to go in the first half, Auburn 13, Florida 11. Reeves, top of the circle for Jones. Picked up by Broom. Jones drives on Broom, gets him in the air, and gets Broom to foul him. That's a big point guard play in there. You, you got to make sure you stay on the floor now and make him pass that basketball. But they've been playing a perimeter game to start this and it hadn't been working. Myron Jones is originally out of Birmingham. He played three years at Penn State twice. Honorable mention all Big Ten for the Nittany Lions. His free throw is missed. That's his first miss of the season from the free throw line. I'm a little bit surprised that uh, Castleton has been out of the game as long as he had. He hasn't played very much of this game so far, has he? No, he hasn't. Jones makes the second free throw, cuts the lead to one. It's 13-12 Auburn with 10-40 in the first half. Wendell Green quickly up the floor, working at the top against Bonham. Whistle, and we're going to get a uh, push well, on Wendell Green. Well, if you're, going, if you're going to let them ride us like that, you're going to have to let us get a, a little bit of a stirrup on there here so we can stand up. Wendell trying to get a little bit of separation, but uh, pushed and got called for the offensive foul, his first. They've been letting them play, but now you cannot call it when the guy's being pushed and he pushes you back. That's not good. Bonham will bring it up the floor for the Gators. Trailing Auburn by one. Reeves against Flanagan. Blows past him, drives to the hole, and banked it in. And Florida has his first lead of the night. Kowasi Reeves with four points off the bench. Well, he's a good player. He, he, he shoots a high percentage from four, three and, and two and three. Treor, top of the circle. Two, Broom, hands to Flanagan. Allen down the right side, into the corner right side. Four, Katie Johnson brings it to the wing, 12 to shoot. Down to the low post for Broom, working on Jatobo. Spins past him, up with the left hand, got it. He's quicker than Jatoba, yeah. and also the strength will not will not take care of that quickness if you'll move like he did then. Castleton will come in at the next break along with Richard and Fudge for Florida. Florida ball, Auburn by one. Right corner, wide open. Shot is up, it's missed, the three ball missed. Rebound out of bounds off of Bonham, and Auburn gets it. That's a foul. Coach Pearl is letting them know, and that's a foul. That's a foul in any game. Jalen Williams is back into the lineup. So is Zepp Jasper and Chris Moore for the Tigers. They're pressing full court, and it's real pressure. It's not too much to let you get to let you get near midcourt and then pick it up. Auburn's original five on the floor. Tigers by one, 925 in the first. Castleton back in for the Gators. Low post, Jalen Williams in the lane. Turns up with the left hand, missed it short. Castleton got the rebound, lost it. Broom is up, missed it, got it back, and the ball knocked out of bounds. Well, whew, you can holler foul all you want. These guys, they forgot that's part of the game the officials have. Bruce Pearl says, let it, let's go. We didn't see Bruce arguing there. Paul, of course, the ball's at the other end of the floor. Yeah, they're letting him play. Inbound to Chris Moore. Low post, Jalen Williams against Fudge, and he dribbled the ball out of bounds. Boy, turnover is starting to be a factor in this ball game. Well, That's good. the sixth against Auburn. As physical as Florida plays, you're going to turn the ball over unless you really protect it. 9-0-9 in the first. Auburn 15, Florida 14. Gators ball. Somebody sent the referee a message. He's reading it. Florida's one turnover in the last nine minutes. Auburn is the one turning the ball over right now, friends. Well, their pressure is terrific. They inbound to Fudge at the top of the circle for the Gators. Auburn then gets back. Florida ball, trailing Auburn by one. Jones against Chris Moore. Off the left side, Fudge loses it. Steal. Jasper on the break for Auburn. Zepp 
pulls up on the right side on the wing. Three ball, Jalen, no. Weak side rebound pulled in by the Gators. They got a guy wide open. We didn't get back quick enough. Bottom, left wing, Jones, bottom at the top. 20 to shoot for Florida. Auburn by one, Florida ball. Bottom at the left wing. Budge at the top. Right side, drive to the hole. Up and under and missed. And the rebound, Broom. Outlet to Wendell Green. Wendell drives into the lane, down the left side of the lane. To the baseline. Ball knocked out of his hand from behind and out of bounds. And Auburn keeps it with 22 to shoot. Great defense here being played by both ball clubs. I mean, it's tough to get a shot. They're letting them play, and it's a physical game. we got to adjust, and Florida has to not adjust, I hope. Six rebounds already for Janai Broom. Florida is one of seven from three. Auburn one of three from three. Gators back to their bench. Reeves comes out, and Lofton is back in a point guard for Florida. Well, there had not many, many uncontested shots in this game. The defense has been terrific. Their starting five of Bonham, Richard, Lofton, Fudge, and Castleton against Auburn's starting five. Green, Jasper, Moore, Williams, Broom, Auburn ball. Out of bounds. Left wing, Jasper off the inbound from Jalen Williams. Zep brings it almost to midcourt with a pass for Wendell Green. 15 to shoot. Went on the left-hand dribble. Working on Bonham straight away. Drives down the right side of the lane. Kicks the ball to Chris Moore down the right side of the lane. Off the side of the uh, glass and out of bounds. And the ball was tipped, according to the officials, by Castleton. And Auburn gets it, and that may be a break for Auburn, well, friends. It, it's missed all three yeah. ways. They fouled twice on the play, and nothing was called. Five to shoot for Auburn. Out of bounds, baseline right. Williams will trigger. Lobs it to Broom. Janai, fade away from 15. It is no good. Rebound up, no. Rebound more up in traffic, no. Foul on the play. I tell you, Chris Moore is all over the backboard. I don't know how many he's got, but his attempt at getting rebounds is great. Three three rebounds is what Chris Moore has. He got a big offensive rebound. Matter of fact, two of them there and was fouled by Will Richard. Auburn ball shooting free throws when we come back. 7.58 in the first half. And this first half is presented by Southern Union. Conveniently located just a few miles from Auburn, Southern Union offers classes that easily transfer to the university. Endless opportunities are right up the road. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Auburn Bank celebrates Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith as color analyst on the Auburn Sports Network. This is Sonny Says. Now they're all talking over. Let's get another ball. Get one that's square. Something, you can't do that. Pardon me. Folks can't see what I'm talking about. Though, no, yeah, this is radio, Sonny. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Sonny Says is presented by Auburn Bank, champions of you. Hi, my name is Jackie, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake is the whipped cream and the cherry on top. It's like a little bow on top of this great present of peppermint chip goodness. It tastes like the holidays. Hey, my name is Chandler, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake is the little pieces of the peppermint that you get. For me, no milkshake is topping the peppermint chip milkshake. Order a Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake on the Chick-fil-A app today. Available for a limited time. Real customers paid for their testimonials. If SEC football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM SEC Radio is where you need to be. We're talking conference and team previews, live games, news, and analysis from experts like Chris Dory, Jacob Pester, Aaron Murray, and Max Starks. Coaches shows, championship specials, and more. More. Get inside SEC football like nowhere else. Feed your fandom on the SiriusXM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app to start streaming. Follow the Tigers on Twitter at AuburnMBB. Now, back to the game. 7.58 to go in the first half. Auburn 15, Florida 14. Tigers right now doing a nice job on the boards, Sonny. 17 rebounds for Auburn, 8 for the Gators. And Auburn has out-rebounded Florida on the offensive glass, 9-1. to one. But Auburn only has four points to show for those yeah. nine offensive rebounds. Chris Moore is all over the ball, all over the boards. He may not get the rebound, but he's keeping the ball alive, giving us a chance to get to it. This this game is well played game for if as physical as they're allowing them to play. And it has been a very physical first half very, of basketball. Very. It'll be interesting to see how the second half is called. Because right now they're letting them play at both well, ends of the floor. 
Well, Coach Golden has, has complained so much. They might they might try to change it a little bit now. I, I, I hope when he gets down there and we get to talk as much as he has. <laughs> 7.58 in the first half. Auburn made its first two shots, but only four of 19 since. And yet Auburn still leads by one right now yeah. in a low scoring affair, 15 to 14. Wendell Green, Zepp Jasper, Chris Moore, Jalen Williams, and Janai Broom come out of the timeout huddle. Broom with six rebounds is the leading rebounder in the game. Castleton with three leads the Gators, and Chris Moore is at the line to shoot two for Auburn. I, I tell you, there, we, there are going to be a lot of people going to the free throw line the way, well, the, way the, the game is being so physical. Moore makes the first free throw. That gives him five points on the night. Well, I like what Chris has been able to do on the board. If he didn't get the rebound, he keeps it alive. And he also keeps his man from getting the rebound. Chris makes both free throws, and Auburn leads by three. 17-14, 7.58 in the first half. Against the Auburn Press, Gator ball. And it's bottom across midcourt for the Gators. Working on Jasper. Out to the top, it goes for Castleton. Bond knocked away, he retrieves it. On the wing, Fudge. Fudge hands the ball left side for Lofton. Lofton to the low post, throws it right to Chris Moore for Auburn. Now Wendell Green up the floor. Up the left sideline for Zepp Jasper on the wing. Top of the circle, Jalen Williams. Auburn by three in the ball. 7-27 in the first half of play. Jasper, Williams, right wing more. Back to Williams. At the top, it's Broom. Now to Wendell Green in the key. Down the left side. Underneath, intended for Broom. Knocked away by Castleton with a steal. Castleton goes coast to coast. Dumps it underneath. And, and Castleton gets called for the charge as he runs over Jalen Williams underneath. Oh, the fish rate got to be good. When you can make that play, and that was definitely a charge, they'll let that go away from the ball a lot. And it's a good thing because they get a wide open layup otherwise. Woo. First foul on Castleton, sixth against the Gators. Three fouls against Auburn. You know, if we were in Gainesville right now and it was the same foul differential, I'd be yelping about it a little bit. I'll yelp for you. Right. You don't have to. Broom in the key, off the left side. Down the left side, ball kicked out of bounds, and he touched it last. All those turnovers are just killing Auburn right now. Their game plan is to dive on the post when the ball goes in. And he better watch putting it on the floor right now. He's going to have to kick out real quick, and we'll get something out of it if he does. Trey Donaldson replaces Wendell Green at the point. Auburn with some pressure. And Lofton will pick it up from Zepp Jasper bringing it up the floor. Lofton across midcourt, one second to spare. Bounce pass Castleton, right back to Lofton. He walked. Got away with it. They get Woo. the rebound. Richard at the top. Castleton drives to the hole. Castleton fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Like yeah. Florida got away with a travel yes, and a double did. dribble. Yes, they And that's did. the first field goal attempt of the night for Colin Woo. Castleton, and it comes at the 638 mark of the first half. He was bound and determined to take that one to the glass. There's going to be a lot of walks in this game because they're pushing each other at such a high level. Donaldson called for the foul, and Castleton shoots 69% from the strike and gets his first point of the night. They kept him out of the game early in the game. I don't know if it's because he was feeling bad. He hadn't done anything one way or the other. Other than rebound, it's about it. Yeah, we don't want him to get going. Castleton cuts the lead to two. He can cut the lead to one with the second free throw. 6'11", 250. And the free throw is good. Auburn by a point. They're pressing full court now with a little bit more pressure on the ball. Donaldson works against Lofton across midcourt. Donaldson, top of the circle, Janai Broom. Right side, Jalen Williams, outside the arc. Hands the ball to Donaldson on the right wing, goes baseline. Cut off near the corner, fade away from 18. Nope. Castleton rebounds, knocked away Good by foul. Broom, and a whistle and a foul on Janai, his second foul. We do not need that. We need him in the game because he's affecting their defense and offense. Every time the ball goes to him, they definitely double team him every time. Broom is out and Cardwell is in. I'm not sure if Dylan was waiting to come in when Broom picked up that second foul or if he came in as a result of the second foul by Janai. In any case, Janai in the bench with two fouls. Leading rebounder of the game, Florida down one with the ball. Lofton 
will bring it up the floor, picked up on the other side of midcourt by Jasper. Crossover dribble, top of the circle, bounce pass, baseline, and out of bounds off of Kowasi Reeves. They tried the back door, and a nice shot by Chris Moore to get back. If you love defense, you're, you'd be in love with this game. Yeah, agreed. This is all defense. Six minutes in the first half, Auburn by one, 17-16. Donaldson on the right-hand dribble, crossover dribble, gets a screen. To Dylan Cardwell, inside the arc, right side. Hands the ball to Chris Moore. Moore at the free throw line, head fake, goes low post for Car or Cardwell. Oh. And a turnaround jump hook by Dylan Falls. Oh, Dylan made a field goal out of a jump hook. I always wanted him to do that. I'm having fun. 19-16 Auburn, 5.35 in the first half. Cardwell shooting 87% from the field this season. Never takes a bad shot. Reeves. Drives on Moore, who gets with it. Now to Castleton against Cardwell. Down the left side of the lane against Dillon. Ball knocked out of there in a the foul. I tell you what, <laughs> Colin is uh, complaining a lot. He's going to be really complaining. He's going to be sleeping tonight thinking they're beating on him. That's a foul against Dillon Cardwell, his first. It's the sixth against Auburn in the half. And uh, Florida has it out of bounds, baseline left. Yeah, both teams being the one and one pretty soon. We we're beating on each other too heavy. That evened up in a hurry. Todd Golden wants a timeout and finally gets it. It's a 30 with 5.20 to go in the first half of play. Gators trail Auburn by three, 19 to 16. Florida doesn't have a field goal in its last 5.04. Well, Auburn is only one of its last eight from the field. If you come to see defense, you're at the right gym. Let's get an update. Brad Law. Go ahead, Bradford. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Uh, other SEC matchup right now, it's Missouri maintaining a double-digit lead on Kentucky. 24-14, Tigers in Columbia have the lead. Kentucky shooting under 27% for the game. So Auburn and Florida not the only teams in the league playing some defense tonight. Outside the SEC, number two undefeated UConn, really in a tussle with a rival Villanova. Big East battle, 33-32. Huskies over the Cats, halftime in that one. All the scores coming up. And the uh, Connecto Sausage halftime report. Andy, back to you. Both teams with six fouls in the first half. We're at the 520 mark. Well, Gators out of bound baseline left. Castleton will trigger. Well officiated game, Mandy. May all change. Castleton looking for an inbound. Lobs it out to the top near midcourt for Kowasi Reeves. Hands the ball to Lofton. 15 to shoot for the Gators. His pass down the left sideline. Batted out of bounds by Cap Dylan Cardwell. Florida goes back to its bench, brings Myron Jones in, replacing Will Richard. At the shooting guard. There hasn't much shooting, been much shooting taking place on either team. The defense just too good. Inbound, baseline left, three ball from the corner, missed by Reeves. Auburn rebounds, and here's the Tigers the other way, both, leading by three. Both teams are getting back so well, you can't run much of a break. 5 2 in the first half of play. Auburn by three with the ball. Jalen Williams, right wing, to the top for Donaldson. They're playing man at the right wing. Underneath, ball knocked away and a steal. Well, we're looking to get the ball yeah. inside to uh, Jalen Williams, but they're defending extremely well. Jones with the steal to Castleton, top of the circle. Drives on Cardwell to the hole, blocked it off the backboard. Rebounded by Jalen Williams up the left sideline for Japper. Jep down the left side of the lane. Pulls it out near the corner to the wing for Williams. Auburn by three and with the ball, five or make that 427 in the first half of play. 1916 Tigers. Donaldson works on Lofton, gets the ball at the top. Jalen, head fake at three. Underneath intended for Cardwell, off his thigh and out of bounds. If he gets it, it's a wide open dunk. Yeah, and, that's, and he will take that shot. He was not going to take many, but he would take that shot. Flanagan replaces Moore in the Auburn lineup. KD Johnson comes in for Zepp Jasper at the two for Auburn. Well, if you love effort, you're in the right building tonight. The effort's been terrific by both teams. 4-16 in the first, Auburn 19, Florida 16. Inbound Reeves to Lofton. Auburn will back off, and Donaldson will greet Lofton as he comes across midcourt. Bounce pass, Reeves, top of the circle, off the left side. Screened by Castleton, drive by Myron Jones, and a bump by Allen Planning. Boy, you, you just can't well, make it, you can't make it that obvious. No. And it takes us to a timeout with four minutes to go 
in the first half, and the Gators will shoot a one in bonus when we come back. Auburn 19, Florida 16. Four minutes in the first, and this is the Auburn Sports Network. Live Sports Radio, bringing you inside Neville Arena for all the action of men's and women's basketball game day with no delay. Every dunk, block shot, and steal, plus all the analysis from our Hall of Fame coaches, all with no delay. $25 new or $10 to reprogram the one you already have. Also, use it for every broadcast of home baseball and softball games this spring, all with no delay. With Live Sports Radio, presented by Alpha Insurance. When we say we're an everything school, we mean it. Since 1872, Auburn University graduates from the College of Agriculture and the Samuel Ginn College of Engineering have built on the land-grant mission to drive economic development, improve quality of life, promote social well-being, and enhance national security. Celebrating 150 years, come see why Auburn's College of Agriculture and Ginn College of Engineering continue to be pillars of the past, pioneers of the present, and foundations for the future. Visit auburn.edu. And we're back with breaking news. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any Coke fan, so make sure you... Jim. <laughs> Jim. We're on the air. Ooh, yes, this tastes like the best Coke ever to me. Your thoughts, Jen? Well, can I have a sip? <laughs> Jen, we're in the middle of reporting the news. I need to try it first. Nineteen sixteen, Auburn, four minutes to go in the first half. Florida shooting a one in bonus as we come out of the timeout break. Auburn is seven of 23 from the field. One of three from three, four of five from the free throw line. Gators are five of 17 from the field. One of seven from the three point strike and five of six from the line. Rebounding early on, Auburn 19, Florida 10. Comparative stats, turnover seven apiece. No, that's. Points in the paint, Auburn eight, Florida six. Second chance points, Auburn six, Florida two. Fast break, Florida two, Auburn nothing. And bench points, Florida seven, Auburn six. Yeah, we've turned over the ball a little bit more than they have. And that, that, that's, that's got to stop. We got to take a little bit better so we can get a half court shot. And that's the only thing, is not that much difference in anything on there. Chris Moore leads Auburn with six. Four apiece for Kowasi Reeves and Kyle Lofton leading the Gators. Yeah, not, not many assists in this game. And you're getting, you're, yeah. you're getting your baskets in uh, different ways. Four and for the, Auburn and two for the Gators. Yeah, and the reason is the defense is just so good. You can't hardly make a pass. Myron Jones, one of two from the line tonight. This is a one in bonus. Well, those guys, uh, those, those guys shoot the free throws pretty good, and uh, that's uh, yep, seventy-three point eight percent this season. Yeah, that's that's one place you don't want to have them many many times. He's a hundred percent this year. Already tr already graduated, cum laude, and he makes the first free throw. Well, if I'd graduated cum laude, I, I would have waited after Auburn game two the way Auburn and, uh, and Florida play one another. They both get really after it. Cuts the lead to two with four minutes to go in the first half. Okay, Byron Jones transferred from Penn State. His career high came while at Penn State, scored 29 at Nebraska, yeah. and he gets a second free throw to fall. He has five points tonight. Leading score for the Gators, cuts the lead to one. Yeah, one thing that hasn't happened is fast break points. Nobody's getting any. They're both defending the break real well. Katie Johnson from Wendell Green at the right wing. Back to the top for Wendell, 17 to shoot for Auburn. Tigers lead by one, 345 in the first. Wendell, bounce pass, KD at three, didn't take it. Gets this three, pops the three, missed it short. And the rebound. Not a good shot. Pulled in by Reeves. Kyle Lofton up the floor, Gators can take the lead. Auburn by one, Lofton. Jones right back to Lofton at the right wing. Top of the circle, Jones. Jatobo, by the way, in at the low post. Gets around Jalen Williams, Ooh, loses what the a ball. Steal. Jalen, the outlet to Wendell Green. Florida gets back. Wendell, top of the circle. 
working on Jatobu. Backs it up with 22 to shoot. Auburn by one. Bounce pass underneath for Cardwell. Ball kicked around. Uh, you, you don't really want to go to him. He's not going to put up a shot. And they're, they're staying on their men, so it's hard to kick the ball out. Ball was kicked by Florida, so Auburn gets it with 20 to shoot. 3-0-1 in the first half. Auburn 19, Florida 18. Williams will trigger baseline right. We're good on out-of-bounds plays. I feel one coming. Inbound to, there to it is. Flanagan, and a foul is called underneath. Well, I think it might be the it's Flanagan got fouled, didn't he? It was Jatopo oh, oh. whistled for the foul. That's his second. Well, he could walk across the line, fa lane to foul three people. He's bigger than a house. And now Dylan Cardwell at the line to shoot a one and bonus. A 50% free throw shooter is Dylan. It's time he improved that right here, and he's yeah. going to do it too. Jatobo comes out. So does Lofton as Castleton is back in for the Gators on the low post. Bottom back in as well for Florida. First for Dylan. Missed it. Rebound. Flanagan for Auburn. Outlet to the corner. KD goes baseline and gets fouled. He was able to get Kowasi Reeves into the air. And then when Reeves came down, he fouled KD. Yeah. And KD will go to the line for a one and bonus. Andy Watt was not a foul early in the game. Now it's a foul, and it's because fatigue is set in. They're more grabbing and holding on now instead of just playing straight defense like we did play. Both of these teams are playing their first game in a week. One and bonus for KD. Got it. If they keep putting us on the line, they're going to be in foul trouble for it, even though they're playing a lot of people. KD double figures in five of his last seven games. He's halfway there right now with five points here in the first half. Second free throw from KD. Missed it short, or missed it long, I'm sorry. All right, got to get back. Myron Jones with the rebound for the Gators. Working on KD Johnson at midcourt, a reach-in foul on KD. All of a sudden, they've decided to call it a little bit uh, tighter. Why? I guess they want to. Yeah, they, they've not waited to halftime to do it, have they? No. They, they're doing it right now. Yep. It's, uh, it's one of those things where they're trying to get control of the game. Myron Jones' free throw is good. Well, you don't want to let these guys get to the free throw line because the guys that handle the ball the most all shoot pretty good from the free throw line. Jones is four of five from the line. His first free throw miss this season. Now yeah, five of six. He has seven, and we're tied at 20. Inbound Cardwell, hands to Wendell across midcourt. Tied at 20 with 2.44 in the first. Auburn does not have a field goal in the last three minutes. Green between the rings. Left wing for Jalen Williams. Free throw line, lost it. Picked up by Cardwell. Right sideline for Flanagan. Allen near the corner. Goes baseline, drives to the hole, gets it into the corner. And Flanagan stepped out, stepped out of bounds. out of bounds. We haven't got a good look at the goal in a little while now. We're going to have to start getting something going here. We're pressing. Here comes Chris Moore replacing Jalen Williams in the Auburn lineup. Turnovers right now, 11 for Auburn in the first half, eight for the Gators. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't held on the ball enough for them to foul us a bit. Tied at 20, Florida ball, 2.20 in the first half. Jones, Castleton at the point. Looked underneath, nobody there. Picks up the dribble. Back door, bottom, wide open, shoots and scores. Yeah, that's KD Johnson's fault because he was over guarding his man away from the ball. Gators by two, 22 to 20. Auburn, one of its last nine from the field. Florida leads by, a point, or by two. Allen Flanagan, right side. Got away with a double dribble, I think. Kicks yes, it left did. wing for Wendell. A three to take the lead. Nope. Weak side rebound, Cardwell. In traffic, over Castleton. Banked up, missed. Nope, and a goaltend will yeah. be called against Chris Moore. That looked like that was going down, too. Whew. 144 in the first half. All right, got Auburn's to gone four minutes without a field goal, and the Gators have a two-point lead. Well, we're shooting it way too quick. Jones, Castleton between the rings. To Bonham at the top. Fudge off the left wing. Picks up the dribble. Down the left side, three ball. Florida missed. Rebound underneath. Reeves up and in. 
Uh, Auburn didn't box out on the weak side. Yeah, KD Johnson's looking for steals instead of rebounds. He's got to look for both. Biggest lead of the night for the Gators. Kwesi Reeves, six points off the bench, a minute 10 in the first half. Florida 24, Auburn 20, a minute seven in the first half. KD drives to the free throw line against Castleton. Shoots or tried to get the ball to uh, Cardwell and threw it away. Gators with numbers the other way. Reeves to the hole, blocked by Chris Moore. Auburn the other way. KD Johnson against Castleton. Head fake at three. Underneath Flanagan goes up. It's blocked. And here's the Florida Gators the other way. Great defense by Florida. We had we had to steal, did everything right. They played ter terrific defense to block a shot. Game clock and shot clock about 16 seconds apart right now. Florida ball leading Auburn by four. Castleton, top of the circle, working on Cardwell into the lane. Goes up, double teamed underneath, Fudge dunks it. Too much help, not enough guarding your men away from the ball. 26 to 20 Gators, an 8-0 run by Florida to take a six point lead. 13 seconds in the first half, Auburn can work for a final shot. Jailer Weather, Wendell Green at the left wing, top of the circle, Cardwell, two Wendell. Three ball straight away, got it. And that's the way the Great. first half comes to a close. Way, that's the way to end a half right there. Wendell's first basket of the game, his first points of the game, a three-pointer with two seconds to go in the first half, and the Gators lead by three at the break. Florida 26, Auburn at 23, the SEC opener for both schools from Neville Arena. Time now for the Connecticut Sausage Halftime Report. And here is Brad Law. All right, Andy, Auburn scored the first seven points of the game, of the uh, first half and the final three points of the first half. In between those scoring runs, the Tigers were doubled up 26 to 13. As it is, it is 26-23, Florida on top, and this is the Conecuh Sausage Halftime Report. The Conecuh Sausage Company is proud to be the official smoked sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Make Conecuh Sausage part of your game day and family traditions. Let's update the other scores in the SEC. The only other intra-conference game right now is in Columbia, Missouri, where Dennis Gates and the Tigers are putting the boots to 19th-ranked Kentucky. 40 to 26, the Tigers lead the Wildcats. Mizzou is shooting 50%. Kentucky has heated up of late, and they've upped their shooting average to uh, just over 35. It is still a 14-point Mizzou lead, and they have led from the onset here. 40 to 26, uh, Mizzou over Kentucky. Final score earlier tonight, Tennessee got 22 points from uh, uh, Vescovy to uh, beat Ole Miss 63-59. And uh, the seventh ranked Volunteers moved to 11-2 on the season. Ole Miss led this game early. In fact, the Rebels were in control, a double digit lead at about the midpoint of the first half, but Tennessee with a big run to start the second half to take control of the game. Outside of the league, it's Georgia leading Ryder at halftime in Athens, 37 to 30. And still to come tonight in a little over an hour, number eight, Alabama at number 21, Mississippi State, and ninth ranked Arkansas at LSU. Both of those games will tip at eight o'clock central time. Outside the SEC, top 25 action today. Uh, number two, UConn has opened up a six-point lead over Villanova. 14 minutes to go in stores. Huskies over the Wildcats, 45 to 39. Also number 13, Virginia hammering Albany as uh, that game has just gone final now. Virginia has just finished off Albany uh, by the final score of 66 to 46. Earlier today, number 10, Gonzaga cruised past Eastern Oregon, 120 to 42, and 18th-ranked TCU. No trouble with Central Arkansas, 103 to 57. Here our score at the half, Auburn trails Florida 26-23. Uh, as we continue, we'll check the week ahead in Auburn athletics as the, uh, the, the wheel starts to turn again ever so slowly. Tomorrow night, the Auburn women's basketball team opens up their conference schedule at Ole Miss. More on that and more uh, and the numbers from the first half as we go along here on the Conecuh Sausage Halftime Report. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Get your game day started with the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off on the Auburn Sports Network. 30 minutes before each Auburn basketball game. Get a breakdown of the matchups, player profiles, a 60-second scout of the opponent, SEC report, and our exclusive pregame interview with head coach Bruce Pearl. CBNS Bank has been family, community, and financially strong since 1906. The CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off, only on the Auburn Sports Network. 
In SEC Sports, the ifs come at you every minute. What if your QB had released the ball a second earlier? What if the head coach hadn't used his last time out? What if your team goes all the way this season? If you love the tradition, if you live for the rivalry, if you can't wait each week for the absolute edge of your seat action, Regions is right there with you as the official bank of the SEC. Regions can't help you with the ifs in sports. Regions helps you embrace the ifs. Member FDIC. It's a great day for Auburn Tigers to get vaccinated. COVID and flu vaccines are an important tool to help stop the pandemic. The Alabama Department of Public Health is offering the COVID and flu vaccines to anyone six months and older. COVID and flu. The COVID and flu vaccines are safe, effective, and free. COVID and flu are still on the rise. Don't let COVID and flu stop you from supporting your favorite team. Continue to help protect yourself, your friends, and our campus by getting the COVID and flu vaccines. For more information, visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash IMM. We always picture the SEC student athlete for their speed, their vertical, their agility, but it's time we picture them for more. For their campus voice, their community outreach, and for the simple fact that 20 years later, they're still someone's pride and joy. More than students, more than athletes. In the SEC, it just means more. Back at Neville Arena, the Conecuh Sausage Halftime Report. Brad Law courtside. Florida leads Auburn 26 to 23 here at the half. The ever popular putt to win contest just wrapped up here. And uh, that's always an attention getter here at Neville Arena. Uh, no winner tonight, alas. Uh, all right, Auburn trails by three. The 26 points for Florida are tied for their second fewest in a first half this season. The 23 points for Auburn, the third fewest first half points for the Tigers. Let's take a look around Auburn Athletics. Tomorrow night, women's basketball gets conference play going. Coach Jay and company are in Oxford to battle Ole Miss, and this is a hot Tigers team. Seven straight wins to close out non-conference play, six of those coming at home. Auburn nine and one in the pre-conference portion of the schedule, and uh, they're doing things offensively and defensively. Tigers are third nationally, six and a half blocks per game, and also in the top 30 nationally in three-point percentage. In fact, the Tigers are 15th in that department. This, this on paper is a really intriguing matchup tomorrow night at Ole Miss. Uh, Auburn is fourth in the SEC in scoring offense. Ole Miss is fourth in scoring defense. Ole Miss is ninth in scoring offense, but Auburn is ninth in scoring defense. So a fairly evenly played game. Ole Miss has won four games in a row uh, coming in in their own right, and uh, Auburn and Ole Miss have split the last two, uh, the last four games played in Oxford. Tomorrow night's game starts at 6 o'clock Central Time from the Pavilion at Ole Miss. You can listen to the game in the Auburn Opelika area with Britt Bowen on the call, or uh, if you're outside of that area, uh, you can listen anywhere else via the Auburn Game Day app. Make sure you have that downloaded. Before we continue, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Well, the teams combined to shoot 32% in the first half, and they combined for 19, uh, make it 20 turnovers in the first half of play. Low scoring affair to be sure, every possession valuable in the second half. All the numbers from the first half coming up after this timeout. Florida leads Auburn 26-23. We're back to Neville Arena when the Kaneka Sausage Halftime Report continues in a moment. Koneka Sausage is a product we all know and love, and it's the official sausage and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Koneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, patented blend of seasonings, hey, all natural a casings that like smoke over a yes, pure hickory that? fire okay. for that true southern flavor. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Koneka Sausage dog or premium hot dog while watching the Tigers and make Koneka part of your game day or any day. Koneka Sausage is celebrating their 75th year of the Sessions family, making their premium smoked sausage in Evergreen, Alabama. Be sure to visit the new Koneka gift shop right off I-65 at exit 96. 
The Whataburger Sweet and Spicy Bacon Burger is an all-time favorite. It brings so many flavors together in harmony, you might wonder if it's greater than the sum of its parts. It's got two all-beef patties, both of which fantastic. Crispy bacon, love that. Grilled onions, mmm. Melty cheese, I mean, who would say no? And sweet and spicy pepper sauce. Yes, please. I guess we're kind of partial to every part. The sweet and spicy bacon burger from Whataburger. Just like you like it. Order online to earn rewards. By now, your daily routine is probably a little too routine. Don't you want to change? Don't you want to start playing by your own rules and escape the routine so your fantasy becomes reality? Where every night is an adventure, where new flavors are ready to be tasted, where it feels like you're a winner. Take a chance. Reward yourself. Make your routine anything but routine. Escape every day at Winfrey Casino and WinfreyCasino.com. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freightline, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freightline, official freight carrier of Auburn Athletics, helping the world keep promising. And the rebound fought for it. It comes to Wendell. Into the key. No look underneath. Moore with the two hand dunk. That's called a steal and a basket by a great pass to the post. 7 0 Auburn. 17 14 in the first half of play. Chris Moore with four okay. early points for Auburn. And a hot start for the Tigers. Unfortunately, Florida was able to rally from that early deficit, and Auburn trails the Gators here at the half, 26-23. First half stats brought to you by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Don't wait. Vaccinate. Protect yourself and others against COVID and flu. Visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash IMM. Well, Auburn got six more shots than Florida in the first half, but they had the same number of makes. Auburn was 8 for 28 from the floor. Florida was 8 for 22. Gators 1 of 8 from Trey Land. Tigers just 2 of 6. And that is a positive. Eight of Florida's 22 shot attempts came from beyond the arc. Only six of Auburn's 28 attempts came uh, from long distance. At the free throw line, Gators able to make some hay. In fact, they lead by three. They've got a plus four advantage at the stripe. Nine for 10 at the line in the first half for Florida. Auburn was five for eight. Big edge on the glass for Auburn. 22 rebounds to 15 for Florida. 11, second, or 11 offensive rebounds for Auburn. Uh, but uh, just a plus three second chance points uh, differential right now. It's seven to four. Bench points, plus six for the Gators, 13 to seven. Points in the paint, plus four for Florida at 12 to eight. Auburn turned it over uh, 12 times. Florida got 11 points off those turnovers. Uh, the Tigers got it eight times from Florida and managed eight points off of those eight turnovers. Some of the individual numbers, well, both teams had six players score, but nobody in double figures. The leading score for either side in the first half was Myron Jones. He had seven points uh, and one assist, two steals, uh, but five of his seven points came at the free throw line where he was five or six. He was just one of two from the floor. Also for Florida, six points from uh, Kawasi Reeves, six points and two rebounds for Reeves, five points, two rebounds for Alex Fudge. Colin Castleton, two points, two of two at the free throw line. He missed his only shot attempt of the first half, a shot that was blocked by Auburn. Now he did lead Florida in rebounding with four, but Auburn has done a terrific job of extending Castleton, not letting him catch the ball in deep. The only time he's been able to get close to the basket offensively is when he is driven against an Auburn defender. Auburn scoring six points for Chris Moore. Moore with three rebounds, two steals, and one assist as well. Five points in the first half for KD Johnson. Four points and a uh, team best six rebounds for Janai Broom. Janai also had two assists in the first half of play. And rounding out the scoring, three points for Wendell Green Jr. and Jalen Williams. And Dylan Cardwell with two points on one of two shooting. Jalen Williams and Janai Broom were such a big part of Auburn's offensive attack at Washington a week ago. Those two have combined to make just three of 11 shots so far tonight. Second half is straight ahead. Both teams are on the floor now going through their second half warmups. Again, your score at the half, Florida 26, Auburn 23. 
You've been listening to the Kaneka Sausage Halftime Show. Make Kaneka Sausage part of your game day. Still family owned and made in Evergreen, Alabama since 1947. The second half is two minutes away. This is the Auburn Sports Network. AuburnTigers.com is the official website of Auburn Athletics. Read the latest feature stories on your favorite Tiger teams. Get critical game day info. Search videos and audio. Find how to get connected through social and digital media or by joining Tigers Unlimited. Shop the AU Photo Store or just find the next event on the athletic calendar. Plus, all athletics broadcasts are streamed free at AuburnTigers.com slash watch. AuburnTigers.com, the official online home of Auburn Athletics. Hi, my name is Jackie, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake is the whipped cream and the cherry on top. It's like a little bow on top of this great present of peppermint chip goodness. It tastes like the holidays. Hey, my name is Chandler, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake is the little pieces of the peppermint that you get. For me, no milkshake is topping the peppermint chip milkshake. Order a Chick-fil-A peppermint chip milkshake on the Chick-fil-A app today. Available for a limited time. Real customers paid for their testimonials. This is Auburn head coach and proud Ford F-150 owner, Bruce Pearl. The thing I hear most when people get in the cab of my F-150 is, this truck is huge. Well, I drive around some pretty big players, and when I get a seven-footer in the back seat and he's able to spread out, he's just blown away at how roomy and comfortable this truck is. So visit your local Ford dealer and check out Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Not all models, trims, or features may be available. Contact your dealer for more information. Hey, I'm Charles Barkley. Call for a Redmond and water at bars and restaurants throughout the great state of Alabama. Redmond Vodka, available at select ABC stores and package stores. Redmond Vodka is eight times to steal, gluten-free, and is made from non-GMO corn. Looking to support a local business? Redmond Distilling is Alabama proud and minority owned. Learn more online at redmonddistilling.com. The second half spark is brought to you by the finest electricians in the world. The brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 613. Florida by three, 26-23 at the half. Sonny Smith, what's the Auburn spark? I Especially the, early here in the second half. I think the first five minutes. And I think uh, another thing's got to happen to us. I think we got to run our offense to the post. They've spread their defense out so far. They're taking away everything, even the drives. If we can throw it in, make them suck in a little bit, and then kick out, I think we get something. I think that would be good. We'll, I, I bet you we try it, too. Both teams made eight field goals in the first half. Auburn took six more shots. Well, the defense here, both teams has just been terrific. It really has. And the referees are letting them play, yeah. and nobody's in foul trouble. And that's, that's another thing that may be a – a uh, factor for it's all over. Who gets off to a good start? Who goes to the free throw line and knocks them down? Here's the opportunities lost for Auburn in the first half. 11 offensive rebounds. No question. To Florida's three, and yet Auburn only had, let's see, points off of uh, turnovers. Well, Auburn, a matter of fact, the Gators outscored Auburn off of turnovers. Second chance points, Auburn seven, Florida four. That's a lot of chances that Auburn got second looks and just didn't knock them home. Well, uh, one thing that's hurting us early is anytime the ball goes inside, they're doubling it. Well, instead of getting kickouts, we're getting turnovers out of some of that. So we're going to have to get the ball in and get something up. And we also got to keep them off of the free throw line. That, that's the points off yeah. turn, uh, free throws might be a factor they for were nine, Yeah, Florida was 9 of 10 from the line in the first half. Auburn, this is the fourth time this year that Auburn has trailed at the half. The Tigers are 2 and 1 in those previous three. The only loss, Memphis in Atlanta about two and a half weeks ago, and they turned it over off the inbound pass. Underneath, Wendell up for a shot, nobody's fouled. They turned it over on the inbound pass. Wendell ran it down at the Auburn baseline, drove underneath, went up for a reverse layup, and was fouled by Trey Bonham before people could settle back into their seats. Well, if you want to see effort, be at Auburn right now. The effort by both teams has just been terrific. And play, spectacular plays, just out of sight. First oh. foul on Bonham and Wendell at the line for two for Auburn. 
His free throw is up and it is good. Wendell with just one basket in the first half. That was the three pointer with two seconds to go in the first half to cut the lead in half. He now has a free throw to cut the lead to two. He can cut it to one right here. And he missed it. And the free throw or the rebound is pulled in by Bonham. All right, got to get a stop without a foul. 26-24 Florida, their first possession across midcourt. Lofton at the right wing. Throws a back door to Castleton who dunks over Broom. Well, they cleared out a side. That was a set play and they threw it over the top and we've been denying the ball so well and they picked that up at halftime. Gators 28, Auburn 24, Auburn basketball. Wendell lobs it left side, three ball, more, no. Weak side rebound to Broom. Oh. Out to the top for Wendell. He'll pop a three, got it! Get great kick out. I thought he should have laid the ball back up, but he kicked it out and got us three, got us going. Down to a one point game, 28-27, Gators. Wendell Green has hit his last two threes. And now leads Auburn with seven points. Off the left side, Lofton, 15 to shoot for the Gators. 28-27 Florida, low post, Castleton no against foul. Broom. Bumps him, backs it out, throws it to the top. Three ball in the air for the Gators, air ball. Auburn ball out of bounds. You, you're not gonna get much better defense out of the guy ran down and under the basket, doubled the ball, went back out and stopped a three-point shot by his man. Whit Richard barely drew the outside of the net and immediately comes out of the ball game for the Gators. And Kowasi Reeves, who was very good in the first half for Florida, is in there. And there's a steal by Bonham against Wendell Green. Bonham, skip pass, left side. Reeves goes baseline, drives and dumps Whoa. it. Big time play, big time play. Beat our guy off the bay, off the sideline and dunked it. 30 to 27 Florida, 18-25 in the second half, Auburn ball. Green, down the left side of the lane for Jalen Williams. Working on Fudge to the wing for Jalen, for Williams, excuse me, Green and a three, and he was fouled on the shot by Bonham. He missed the shot, but Wendell goes to the line to shoot three for the Tigers. Wendell Green did not have a point in the first half until that three-pointer with two seconds to go in the first half. He has seven points now in the game, and he's at the line for three more free throws here. His effort is something that you just, you can't talk about it enough. He, he's a great effort player. Yep. And he doesn't make mistakes. He tries to steal a ball, and he does it without fouling. He makes big shots. First free throw, good. Makes free throws also come think of it. <laughs> Eight points for Wendell Green, cuts the lead to two with 18-17 in the second half of play. SEC opener for both of these schools. Second free throw by Wynn, good. He could tie it right here. You kind of get the idea that Wendell decided to insert himself offensively. And I think Castleton's thinking the same thing for the Gators. Well, the thing about it, they're denying everybody else the ball so much, he almost has to take over the game. And he's doing it right now. That free throw ties the game. All right, now we're gonna press, and I think we'll press to steal. 10 minutes and a minute and 42 seconds span for Wendell Green. And we're tied at 30. That's a good stat from Brad Law. Lofton working on Zepp Jasper. High post for Castleton. Working on Janai Broom. Drives on Janai. On the right wing, three ball bottom. No, weak side rebound. Wendell. Push it. Up the floor. Across midcourt. Wendell to Jalen Williams. Just across the uh, center circle. Gets the ball back to Wendell Green. High post pass for Broom. Janai looks underneath. Bounce pass. Jalen Williams in the lane. Out to the top for Wendell. 14 to shoot for the Tigers. We're tied at 30, 17, 35, second half. Wendell gets a screen from Broom. Inside the arc, now back out. Down the left side, into the corner. Three in balls up. No. And the rebound out of bounds off of Florida. Auburn ball. Woo. Second shots. We need them. Second shots, wins games. Jasper out, KD Johnson in for Auburn. We've Auburn been, with a chance to take the lead for the first time here in the second half. We've been good on dead ball plays, out of bounds and things like this. This time we got one. We're, we're the best that I've watched all year. Inbound broom, mid lane, head fake. Goes up, under and scores! We're and great. Auburn leads. Get back. 
Auburn by two, 32 to 30. Gator ball. Lofton works across midcourt against KD Johnson. Bounce pass to Kowasi Reeves. Hands the ball top of the circle for Bonham. Bonham to Castleton against Broom. Right side of the key. Head fake at 17, drives, goes up, it was blocked. Rebound on the floor, tie up, jump ball, the arrow goes to Auburn. What a play. They had a dead on basket and we make the play and create a jump ball. That's called effort, that's called intelligence. I never had either one of those. <laughs> 32 to 30 Auburn. It's good that you can recognize it though. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. My wife might have heard that. 16.50 in the second Auburn ball. Williams at the point. Right wing, Lore. Low post, Broom. Janai. Turnaround jumper. Get in. No. Rebound tap up. No by Moore. Rebound Castleton. Goes down. Maintained the dribble. Nicely played by Collin. Yeah, they didn't call a foul. We fouled him that time. And that, woo, thanks. thanks Aub thank Auburn you, by Eric. two. Florida ball. High post, Castleton. Just outside the arc, working on Broom. Two fudge, drives past Williams and jams it. Boy, he just blew by uh, Jalen Williams. He's going to blow by a lot of people this year. Tremendous first step defense. He's got the height to go offensive. He's got the height to go with it. 32 apiece, 16:07, second half. Auburn ball. Williams, KD Johnson at the top, lobs it into the corner for Wendell on the right side. Faces forces up a three and draws another foul on Bonham. All three of Bonham's fouls have come in the second half, all three guarding Wendell Green, who's at the line for three when we come back. 15.59 to go in the second half. Auburn and Florida tied at 32. Auburn basketball brought to you by East Alabama Health. With more than 70 new positions added in the past four years, they're growing their health care team to meet the growing needs of Auburn, Opelika, and the surrounding area. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight, the moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. At Lowe's, every pro is an MVP to us. That's why MVP's Pro Rewards members can earn bonus points on select products and brands like Power Pro, Weha, and Valspar. Then redeem your bonus points for exciting rewards like tools, sports memorabilia, Lowe's e gift cards, and more. Join Lowe's MVP's Pro Rewards today to start earning. Bonus points calculated before taxes and fees after applicable discounts, if any. Subject to program terms. While supplies last. Points expire at end of calendar year. Visit Lowe's.com slash L slash Pro Loads and terms for details. Now through 1-823. Did you know that driving under the influence of marijuana is illegal? Driving high will get you a DUI. And if you're wondering if law enforcement can tell you're driving high, well, everyone else can. Friends? I can tell you drove high. Parents? I can tell when you drive high. Relatives? I can tell. You drove here high, didn't you? So what makes you think law enforcement can't? I can tell. If you feel different, you drive different. Drive high, get a DUI. Paid for by NHTSA. Auburn basketball is brought to you by Alabama Power. At Alabama Power, we give 100% to achieve 99.9% .9 dependability. Our commitment helps deliver power for a better Alabama. 15.59 to go in the second half. Auburn and Florida tied at 32. Wendell Green Jr. at the line shooting three coming out of the timeout break. Three fouls by Trey Bonham in the first Four minutes and, well, the first three minutes and 57 seconds of the second half. Yeah. And all three fouls have come guarding Wendell Green. Now, they're at the uh, scorer's table. I believe that's Pat Adams. And I'm not sure if they're looking at whether Wendell was shooting a three, and it appears he was. By the way, Florida, by the way, has, has been able to attack the rim. They have five dunks. And they're nine of 10 from the free throw line. So they have taken advantage of their high percentage shots yes. in this ball game. Well, the reason for that is we're having to put pressure on the on the wing players or the, or the perimeter players. And that's leaving an open play into the post. 
and they're getting a little bit of that, and we've got to we got to make sure they only get one shot. When remember, that happens. remember the stat coming out of the timeout or out of halftime. Auburn had 11 offensive rebounds yes. to only two for Florida, and yet the Tigers weren't taking advantage. Well, Sonny here in the first three minutes and 59 seconds, excuse me, three minutes and a second of the second half, Auburn has five points on second chance, 5-0 run on second chance points for Auburn in the second half. Second shots wins yeah, games. You're right. That, that, there's no question. There's less defense on the second attempt than there is on the first. And if you can get that, generally it's one that we rebounded or put back, and you win games with second shots. They show Carnell Williams on the big board here. And that's what the uh, crowd is responding to. Well, Cadillac, he, he, Auburn's he, associate head football coach. Now. He deserves all the cheers <laughs> he can get. Buddy, you're not a lion there. Wendell Green Jr. at the line shooting three. They took a look to make sure that Wendell was attempting a three-point shot during the timeout. Well, they spent all their time talking to the Florida bench officials did then. I don't like that. He might have had a complaint. He might have had a complaint, but you don't spend all your time. Well, they're doing it right now also. Wendell missed the first free throw. He is four of six from the line. Wendell Green with 10 points to lead all scores in the contest right now. The second of three is good, gives Auburn a one point lead. Johan Treor into the lineup for Auburn at the four. He joins Katie Johnson, Wendell Green, this Janai Broom and Alan Flanagan. This is the first time he's been in, isn't it? Second time, he was Second in. Time. He was in for a brief period in the first well, half. I was unconscious a couple of minutes in the first half. Well, I'm glad you're back. Glad Wendell makes two of three and Auburn goes up by two, 34-32. 15-59 in the second half. Kyle Lofton brings it up the floor for the Gators. Cross midcourt, the left-hand dribble. Hands the ball to Jones, or Myron Jones, back to Lofton. Gets a screen from Castleton. Drives down the left side of the lane, 18-footer, good. Uh, that's a great play right there. He was well defended, and he made a great play. Tied at 34, 15-33 to go in the second half. Auburn yeah. basketball. Defense better than the offense in the first half. They may change a little bit now. Broom at the point. One dribble, hands the ball to Katie Johnson at the free throw line. Back to Janai. To the hole, he missed it. Got it back, goes up, missed it. Rebound to fought for Fudge out of a crowd for Florida. Ball. Florida ball, we're tied at 34. 15 08, second half. Lofton all the way to the hole, put it up, and drew the foul. Who did they call that on? I think Wendell, or excuse me, KD. I think so. I, I, I sort of, they call that on Janai. I think they missed that one. KD Johnson picks up his second foul, and Lofton goes to the line to shoot two, where the Gators are nine of 10 in the contest. Lofton with six points on the day. We don't want this game to be won or lost with, on dead ball points. Lofton gives Florida a one point lead. The referees are calling it just a little bit closer to start this second half. And Three time, adjust. excuse me, Sonny, three time All Atlantic 10 team at St. Bonaventure. Two time part of the A 10 All Tournament team. And Lofton gives the Gators a two point lead. Well, he can, you don't want to foul him. He's a terrific th free throw shooter. 15 02, second half, Florida 36, Auburn 34. Treor hands the ball to Flanagan. Ball knocked away and a foul by Fudge at the top of the circle. Second foul on Alex Fudge. That's the fourth foul against Florida in the second half. I tell you what, they really gamble a lot on defense. They go for steals, and if you don't call them, they're, they're, their defense becomes so solid. But Trey they're calling Hart, them. The inbound to Broom, hands to Flanagan. Bounce pass, Wendell Green. Auburn down two with the ball. Green gets a screen from Broom. Out on the left wing, 12 to shoot. Wendell into the lane, drives. Wrap around underneath for Broom. Eight to shoot. Broom, right wing, KD, head fake at three. Shoots the three, missed it. And the rebound off the top of the backboard and out of bounds. Everything happened but except what they called. People running over each other, stepping on their foot. I, I, I think that. Auburn doesn't have a field goal in the last two minutes and 46 seconds. And we've had opportunities. Now these scoring spells are hurting the Tigers. Oh yeah. We're getting shots, we're just not making anything. 14-28, second half, Gators by two with the ball. Lofton between the rings. 
working on Flanagan. Bounce pass to Myron Jones. Down to the baseline, picked up by Katie Johnson, left side. Castleton, 18-footer, short. Rebound, Broom. Run him. Outlet, Wendell. Ahead to KD on the left wing. Penetrates to the free throw line. Down the lane. Up and under and in. Katie Johnson with the drive of the game brought to you by Sun South. Sun South John Deere, preferred tractor of the Tigers. Find your local dealer at sunsouth.com. What a terrific play. Double clutch, great move. He's terrific off the drive. 36 apiece, Gator ball. Fudge drives against Crayor. Into the corner, Jones. Long three by Reeves, short. Rebound to Treor for Auburn. Great blockhouse for the Tigers. Up the floor, KD at the left wing. Lobs it underneath, Broom behind the defense, oh, puts it oh, in. Oh, oh. What a feed by KD to Janai oh, Broom. Man. And Auburn goes up two. That'll make you want to go to a basketball game right there. 13-21 in the second half, Auburn up 38-36. Gator ball, Lofton to Reeves. Left hand dribble twice, now to Fudge between the rings. Drives all the way to the hole and jams it. Boy, that well, was easy. Well, we we're defending them all the way to midcourt and overplaying them on the wings, and that leaves the middle open, so it's got to be defended by that help side. Fudge with nine. We're tied at 38, under 13 minutes to go in the second half. Wendell Green at the point. Working on Reeves. Two Broom. Hands to Flanagan. Allen at the free throw line from 15, and a whistle and a now foul offensive. against Flanagan for the push off. Well, that, Florida it, the ball back. It looked like a gang fight in New York City at the first half, and now they're calling everything it moves. Now, well, you knew this was coming too, didn't uh, you? Yeah, I did. I think I might have. No, you mentioned that. Flanagan out, and Moore back in for Auburn. Wendell Green gets a rest as well, and Trey Donaldson in at the point. We're tied at 38, 12.41 to go in the second half. SEC opener for Auburn in Florida. Bounce pass, Castleton outside the arc at the top. Two Fudge, left wing Lofton, working on Trey Donaldson. Now two Reeves for three, good, Florida by three. Boy, that was a great play and a terrific shot, but as, as well defended and he still scored. 20th three of the year for Reeves, Florida by three, 41-38. Auburn basketball, Donaldson. Top of the circle, KD. Drives to the right side of the circle. Step back, crossover, three ball to tie it. Nope, rebound Castleton for the Gators. That looked good, but we didn't need that that early in the shot clock. Lofton across midcourt for Florida. Florida leads Auburn by three. 11.55 in the second half. Castleton knocked away by Broom. Castleton gets the ball back. Drives, kicks it left side. It comes to Lofton along the baseline to Castleton up. And he missed it. Rebound tapped up. Rebound by Broom Woo. to Treor. Now to Donaldson up the floor. No look. Broom to the hole. No, but a foul on Castleton. Janai is whipping Colin Castle right now. Janai will go to the line to shoot two when we come back. 11-37 in the second half. Florida by three. 41-38. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Boy. Hey Tiger fans, celebrate the new year with Auburn women's basketball on New Year's Day as the Tigers host Missouri in their SEC home opener. Tip-off is 3 p.m. Central, and tickets are available starting at just $6. It's the second year for Coach Johnny Harris on the Plains. Her Tigers need your support as they battle through the Southeastern Conference. Visit AUBTIX.com and make your plans now to see Auburn take on Missouri at Neville Arena. New Year's Day at 3 p.m. Central. War Eagle! Every Whataburger is made fresh and made to order. It's all the homemade goodness you could ask for. The patties, 100% all beef and never frozen. The veggies, cut in house for maximum freshness. The bread, delivered fresh. And the order, just like you like it. Enjoy. This is homemade at our house, and you're invited anytime you want. Seriously, we're open 24-7. Whataburger, just like you like it. If SEC football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM SEC Radio is where you need to be. We're talking conference and team previews, live games, news, and analysis from experts like Chris Dory, Jacob Hester, Aaron Murray, and Max Starks. Coaches shows, championship specials, and more. More. Get inside SEC football like nowhere else. Feed your fandom on the Sirius XM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app to start streaming.
Brad Law courtside, Neville Arena as we check the Yellowwood scoreboard. Second ranked UConn just hit a big three to push its lead over Villanova to seven points, 63-56 inside of two minutes to go, way up in stores. In Columbia, it is Missouri still maintaining a double digit lead over 19th ranked Kentucky. Tigers shooting 50% for the game and leading the Wildcats 54-39. They've got 15 minutes to go in that matchup. We'll keep you posted there on the Yellowwood School Board. Georgia still has a double-digit lead over Ryder, 66-53, 7.50 to go in Athens. That's where Auburn will be next Wednesday night. Now back to Andy Bertram and Sonny Smith. Florida leads Auburn by three, 41-38 with 11.37 to go in the second half of play. Auburn shooting the ball slightly better in the second half, four of 10, but still only 31 and a half percent from the field for the game. The Gators are six of 12 from the field in the second half and up to 36.4% in the game. Differences right now, Florida from the free throw line, 11 of 12, Auburn is 11 of 16. Yeah. Florida's Rebounding out. right now, Auburn's out rebounded Florida 30 to 20. Yeah in this contest. We've turned it over and they've been able to score on it a couple of more times than we have and that, that's yeah. really been a big thing. Gators have outscored Auburn off turnovers 16 to nine. Auburn has 14 turnovers to Florida's nine. Yeah. Points in the paint, Florida 20, Auburn 14. Second chance points, Auburn 12, Florida four. And the bench for Florida, we haven't said this very often, but Florida's bench is outscoring Auburn today, 18 to nine. Now, Kowasi Reeves, as a bulk of that, he has 11 of the 18 points. Jatobo into the lineup on the low post replacing Castleton. Jason Jatobo played his high school basketball in Hamilton Heights, Tennessee. And he is a big young man, 6'11", 300 pounds on the low post and Janai Broom at the free throw line to shoot two for Auburn. First free throw is good. We're, we're in a situation where dead ball points are going to be so important. And then, and the other thing that's going to be really important is not turning the ball over late in this ball game. Broom makes both free throws. He now has 37 career double figure games. Now we're pressing. And he has double figure in the last five games and he comes out and Cardwell is in and Florida leads Auburn by one. The inbound into the base uh, underneath or near the left corner to Myron Jones. Picked up by Chris Moore just across midcourt. Hands the ball to Lofton, guarded by Katie Johnson. High post pass, Jatobo. Outside the arc, guarded by Cardwell. Fudge left side for Lofton. Gators by one, they throw the alley-oop. It's missed. It's rebounded. A shot is up and it's good. Goodness gracious. Wow. Kowasi Reeves missed, er, got his own rebound off a of missed alley-oop. Eric Stewart players are uh, they're not going to the backboard like they should. Gators by three. Jalen Williams from eight. Good. Off the feed from Dylan Cardwell. All right, let's get on the rebounding rack, racket now and not let them get so many seconds. First line. bucket for Jalen Williams since the three to open the ball game. Back to a one-point lead for the Gators, 43-42. Lofton left wing. Pushes down, Reeve, Reeves, a three ball for the Gators. He missed it. Run down in the corner by Katie Johnson. Auburn with an opportunity to take the lead. Give him one shot, and that's what we want to do. Donaldson near the left hash mark. Centers it between the circles. Gets a screen from Cardwell. Donaldson to the baseline. Cut off. Out to the top for Jalen. Back to Donaldson. Head fake at three. Shot clock at 12. Backs up with 10 to shoot. Donaldson gets a screen. Open three, didn't take it. No look underneath, Moore up with the left hand, and in with a foul! Chris what? Moore with the bucket. What a pass. Off a dribble screen at the top of the key, made an unbelievable pass and under the basket for a layup. Trey Donaldson, gotta give him a lot of credit on that play. Second foul against Kowasi Reeves, and Chris Moore gives Auburn a one-point lead. He can make it two with 10.08 to go in the second half of play. A bullet pass from Donaldson to Moore, who then was able to twist a little bit and get it up with the left hand and put it in. Trey Donaldson's doing some really good things right now, offensively and defensively. Free throw missed by Moore, rebound out of bounds off Jatobo. That's Auburn ball. Moore ran down the missed rebound, or the missed free throw, and knocked it off of Jatobo into the Auburn bench. 
Chris Moore's effort right now is really unbelievable. So good, so good. Jalen Williams will trigger down the left sideline in front of the Auburn bench, close to the corner. Yeah, it's a hard place to score a basket. You got to get it out on a reversal. Moore, bounce pass, KD at the top, backs it up. Gets a screen from Cardwell. Drives on Jatobo. Up and under. Jatobo blocked it. Get up. Rebound Reeves. Outlet up the right sideline for Lofton. Into the corner for Myron Jones right side. Back to Lofton at the top. Auburn by one. 9.44 to go in the second half. Southeastern Conference opener for Auburn in Florida. Reeves at the point. To Jones. Jones inside the arc. Picks it up right side. Fake it three by Fudge. Picked up by Jalen. Right wing from Jiren Jones and a three ball. He oh put it in. I think he banked it in. in. From downtown Auburn. And Florida Ooh. goes up by two with 9.18 in the second half. 46-44 Gators. Castleton in at the next break for Florida. Zep Jasper for Auburn. Donaldson, top of the circle. Cardwell, Moore right back to Dillon. Left wing, KD underneath for Jalen to the hole. And our two-hander. Rammer Jammer they ties want, the ball game. They don't want Jalen Williams to have the ball, so they're really overplaying him, and he's open on reversal, and they can't handle him. 46 apiece, 8.50 in the second half. Gator ball. Jones working with a screen from Jatobo. Three ball straight away. No. Rebound to Cardwell. Two, KD Johnson up the left sideline. KD goes down, and he's fouled. Oh, he was goodness. fouled by Fudge. That will be the third on Alex Fudge. It is the seventh on the Gators and Auburn shooting free throws for the rest of the night. KD Johnson is excellent at drawing fouls. Yeah. He really is. He'll go to the line for a one and bonus. Castleton replaces Jatobo. Fudge comes out as well. Bonham is back in. So is Richard. So is Castleton. Jones. And Felder, the five for the Gators. All right, KD, knock home the free throws. The first is missed. Richardson, or rather Richard, gets the rebound for Florida. Tied at 46, 831, second half. Jones across midcourt for the Gators. High post pass for Castleton. One dribble, now two with the left hand. Maintains that dribble. Picks up the dribble. Wants to get the ball, does to Myron Jones. 10 to shoot. Near midcourt for Bonham with a screen from Castleton. Bonham a three straight away, no. Rebound in the lane, Felder. Right wing, three ball, Florida, missed. Rebound, Donaldson pulls it out of the air. Great job by Trey, blocked out and he went high up on the board to get the ball. Up the left sideline, Trey Donaldson, we're tied at 46, under eight minutes to go, second half. Right, a little patience here and we'll get a pass. Cardwell, bounce pass, low post, KD Johnson. Up, no, rebound tapped and it comes to Felder for Florida. Up the left sideline, Bonham drives into the lane, spins, goes up. He didn't get it. Whistle and a foul against Auburn. Trey's doing a tremendous job defensively, even though he might have fouled there. He is, he's doing a great job. His guy is one of the quickest guys on the court. If you're searching for that perfect beach home, find your piece of paradise on the Alabama Gulf Coast with the number one REMAX agent in Alabama, Mindy Jones with REMAX Paradise. Begin your search by visiting Mindy at paradise.com. 7.39 in the second. Gators shooting free throws when we come back. Auburn in Florida tied at 46. And Auburn basketball continues in a moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight. The moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands, and we leave our seats. That powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. And we're back with breaking news. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any Coke fan, so make sure you. Jim. <laughs> Jim. 
Ooh, yes, this tastes like the best Coke ever to me. Your thoughts, Jen? Well, can I have a sip? <laughs> Jen, we're in the middle of reporting the news. I need to try it first. Southern homes are particularly vulnerable to termites. In this climate, you need guaranteed protection. You need Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. Termites attack the Centricon stations, exposing themselves to an agent that eliminates their entire colony. Upgrade from old-fashioned liquid service to the proven protection of Centricon and Cook's Pest Control. Call Cook's today for a free evaluation. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie, Cook's Pest Control. Auburn basketball is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. All Chick-fil-A locations in Alabama proudly support the Auburn Tigers. Seven minutes and 39 seconds to go in the second half. Auburn and Florida tied at 46 Gators. Shooting free throws coming out of the timeout break. Florida is 11 of 12 yeah, from the free throw that. line tonight. Auburn, on the other hand, is 13 of 20 from the line tonight. Yeah. We got to take better care of the basketball. They're getting their points off our turnovers. If we can just get a little bit better care of the basketball, make them guard us a little bit longer, I think we're going to win this game. Auburn has had three games this season in which it shot under 40%. Tigers won two of those three, one against Northwestern, one against George Mason in the season opener, and the other was the loss to Memphis. Right now, Auburn is shooting 34.9% for the game. Now, better in the second half at 46.7% at 7 of 15. Well, I'd, I'd venture to say that this is the best defense that they've faced, and it's also the best defense that Florida has faced. This is two defensive teams going at it as best you can get. Next up for this Auburn ball club at Georgia a week from tonight. That's a 5.30 start from Stegman Coliseum in Athens. We'll be on the air starting at 5 o'clock Central Time a week from tonight. First game of the new year. Myron Jones, excuse me, Trey Bonham at the free throw line to shoot two for the Gators. 75% this season from the line. A transfer from BMI. Now they shoot pretty good from the free throw line. They some certainly of have shoot, tonight. Some of, some of them shoot really good. First of two for Bonham. Is good. You know, the people are going to the free throw line a little bit more in the second half. We thought it might be that way, but uh, because the first half was so physical, they had to get control of the game. They really did. Bottom makes both. The Gators have just missed once tonight from the free throw line. Yeah, dead ball points wins games. 13 of 14 season. from the line tonight. Gators by two, 7.31 to go. Green, Broom to the basket against Collison, who blocked it. Rebound fought for, it's on the floor. Florida ball. Felder has it. Up the right side, Bonham penetrates. Right side of the lane. Gets bumped, Castleton underneath Felder. Put it up and in, Florida by four. Second shots, post game, we gotta defend both of those better. Gators by four, 50 to 46, seven minutes remaining. Broom inside the, the lane for Jalen. Turnaround jumper, good. He's got a mismatch, and he's got a great chance to score on people in the post. Got a great shot for it also. Nine points for Jalen Williams. Auburn down two. 6.45 on a counting clock in the second half. 50 to 48, Florida. Got to have a stop. Myron Jones to Castleton at the point. Back door. Richard put it up and was fouled by... Zepp Jasper, and Richard goes to the line to shoot two, and he is a 90% free throw shooter. Boy, that back door has been a terrific yeah. weapon tonight for the Gators. That's because they take their postman out to the top of the key or higher. We go out there, and that, that makes you help side being smaller, and also if they don't guard them, they'll throw it down there and shoot an easy shot. Free throw by Richard is good. Well, he's, he's pretty good. He is 90% coming yeah. in here. Ohio Valley Conference all-newcomer all, call, all newcomer team a year ago and then transferred from Belmont to Florida, and he makes both. If you play at Belmont, they won't let you play unless you can really shoot. 52-48 Gators, 628 second half. Wendell, right sideline for Flanagan. Broom 
Jasper, low post for Jalen. Jalen into the lane, spins, goes up, it's blocked and a foul. He's a guy that he ha he's unguardable when he gets the ball in a eight to 10 foot range. And he can also do it from the free throw line even when he gets up there also. 6'8 senior from Nehunta, Georgia, Brantley County High School at the line for two for Auburn. Jalen with nine points on the night. And the officials go to the scorer's table. One shot. No, I think they called the foul on Felder. It's his second. I think they were making sure that they had the right fouler. Oh, they got a number one in there, yeah. yeah. Let's start say, what's this one shot stuff? First by Jalen, good. We're going to the free throw line more. And that's because we're getting fouled. 29th not, career, excuse me, Sonny. 29th right. career double figure game for Jalen Williams. Second free throw, good as well. All right, we're gonna press, and it's gonna be a press to steal. Down two, Auburn on defense, 617 in the second. Inbound Castleton, Broom didn't come up, and Castleton brings it across midcourt. Now to Myron Jones, near midcourt, picked up by Zepp Jasper. Bounce pass to Bonham, hands it back to Myron Jones. Picked up by Wendell, Helping. drives past Wendell, into the lane, whistle and a foul on Jalen. It's gonna be on the floor. That's the fifth foul on Auburn in the second half. Are they called it on Wendell? Second foul on Wendell. It's still the fifth foul. There's, they will have it out of bounds and uh, Florida calls a timeout. 5.59 to go in the second half. Auburn trailing Florida 52 to 50. Auburn basketball brought to you by Auburn Opelika Tourism. Start your next visit to the Plains at aotourism.com. This is the Auburn Sports Network. Check out the Talking Tigers podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. The Talking Tigers podcast is a series of one-on-one -on -one interviews hosted by the voice of the Tigers, Andy Burcham. Each week, Andy is joined by a featured guest with Auburn ties from athletics, entertainment, and other walks of life. Past legends and present trailblazers. Insightful and entertaining. It's the Talking Tigers podcast with Andy Burcham. Like and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts today. We've all fallen into boring routines. We just keep doing what has to get done. Isn't it time to escape the old routine and make time for yourself? Make time to go out with old friends. Make time to add excitement back into your life. Make time to feel like a winner again. Life is more fun when you live it. So what are you waiting for? Escape every day at Wind Creek Casino and WindCreekCasino.com. Most creatures blend in with their natural surroundings. However, one North American beaver colony is doing anything but. This group, having discovered new yellowwood protector, semi-transparent stain and water repellent, has coated their lodge in a lovely smoky gray color. Modern look and powerful protection, backed by the yellow tag. Well done. Introducing the first stain worthy of the yellow tag. Yellowwood protector, semi-transparent stain and water repellent. Find a dealer near you. Back at Neville Arena, Brad Law with a quick check of the Yellowwood scoreboard. Missouri trying to run away from Kentucky. Tigers with a 15-point lead and eight and a half minutes to go up in Columbia. 69-54, Mizzou leads Kentucky. Tigers have turned it over just six times. They forced 12 turnovers, and Mizzou continues to shoot at a 50% clip. Missouri 69, ninth-ranked Kentucky 54, 8.47 to go up at uh, Columbia. Now back to the voice of the Tigers and the Hall of Fame coach, Andy Burcham and Sonny Smith. 5.59 to go in the second half here. Gators have the ball, leading Auburn by two. 52 to 50. Florida called a timeout after the foul on Wendell Green. With Trey Bonham trying to drive to the basket. That's just the fifth foul against Auburn in the second half. Turnovers. Right. Points off turnovers in this game. Gators yeah. lead Auburn 16-9 and bench points. Bench 25 points. to 9. That's a, that's a big thing. Bench points. 
You don't call those players bench players, though. That basically, they use yeah. two teams as starters. We use two teams as starters. Castleton will trigger baseline left, 20 to shoot for the Gators. He's joined by Jones, Fudge, Bonham, and Richard. Inbound into the corner for Myron Jones. Working outside the arc, left side, 13 to shoot. Jones, top of the circle, got a screen from Castleton, drives down to the baseline, leans in, leaves it for Castleton, four to shoot. Castleton fade away on the baseline, he didn't get it. Rebound tapped and it comes to Wendell Green. Great defensive stand by the Tigers. Auburn trails by two with the basketball, five and a half minutes to go in the second half. Wendell works on Bonham, hands to Jasper, top of the circle, Williams. Right wing Flanagan, Williams, top of the circle, Broom, to Wendell. Three ball to take the lead, no, it's missed. Rebounded by the Gators, they throw it away. Broom to Wendell. At the top, it's Zepp, had the three, didn't take it. Flanagan will take a three, missed it short. Rebound Wendell, in the lane, up from nine, didn't get it. Oh, we got enough chances right there, couldn't <laughs> knock it down, three, three second chance point. Chances. Rebound eventually comes to Fudge. Across midcourt, Myron Jones. Gators by two, 450. Auburn got three looks and didn't get one to fall. Gators by two at 444 in the second. Jones, cross court, Bonham. Bonham drives to the baseline, head fake, shoots and scores. Yeah, they've got two baskets on pump fakes tonight. So we're leaving our feet a little bit early, but still that, that, that was a very good offensive play by Florida. Florida by four again, 427 in the second half. Broom at the point. One dribble now, two. Wendell Green down the right side of the lane for Jalen Williams, guarded by Fudge. Backs him in, up with the left hand, it's good. They're keeping Castleton in the lane on defense. He will not come out of there. 13 for Williams, two point lead for the Gators. 4.02 second half, Bonham working at the top. High post screen coming from Castleton if he wants it. Bonham at the left wing, crossover dribble, top of the circle. Ball nearly knocked away, it is taken away by Jasper. Ahead to Flanagan, Allen jams it, Auburn's tied right. the game. Get on defense real quick, all right, great, great job. Great job on defense, great job of preventing them throwing it in quick. Jasper took it away, Flanagan finished it. We're tied at 54, Jones drives into the lane, whistle, foul on the drive. That'll be the sixth foul on Auburn. The foul will go against, the foul will go against Jasper, who has called for the foul, and we've got a timeout. 3.32 to go. Gator ball when we come back. Second half presented by Wind Creek Hotel and Casino. With three Alabama locations in Atmore, Montgomery, and Wetumpka, you escape every day at Wind Creek Hotel and Casino and online at windcreek.com. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. In 1925, Modelo began being beer for those who believe in better. A model beer, steeped in the tradition of tireless effort. A rich, Pilsner-style lager for those who wear their heart and heritage on their rolled-up sleeve. Since our first batch to every bottle raised today, we've proved that it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're made of. Modelo Especial, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Drink responsibly. Beer imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Hey, Tiger fans, this is Andy Burcham. The Auburn experience, you know it. There's nothing else like it. It's what binds us together as the Auburn family. And when you give to Auburn, you build on a strong foundation. Your gift opens doors of opportunity for top students, recruits exceptional faculty, and fuels innovative research. This is what creates our unique Auburn experience. And your gift makes it possible today and for generations to come. Give today at auburngiving.org. Oh, Camry, oh, Camry, and Highlander, and RAV4, and Corolla, and even more, available at toyota -thon. Get 1.9% APR for 36 months on a new 2022 Toyota RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. Offer valid through January 3rd, 2023. Zero down for well-qualified buyers with approved credit and financing through Southeast Toyota Finance. 2860 monthly payment for every $1,000 financed. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. A look at the defensive statistics is brought to you by Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. You don't have to live with termites. 
3.32 to go, second half. Auburn and Florida tied at 54. Auburn 37 rebounds to F Florida's 27. Auburn's done a nice job of keeping Florida off the offensive glass. By the way, tonight's celebrity in, Auburn defensive backs coach, Zach Etheridge and daughter out there tonight. We're tied at 54, a foul on Zepp Jasper going into the timeout break. Now, according to the stats that we have and the scoreboard, that was just the sixth foul on Auburn. It was clearly called on the floor. It was not a shooting foul. So Florida should have the ball out of bounds, baseline left with 20 to shoot with 3.32, or at least 20 to shoot, and 3.32 to go in the ball game, and Auburn and Florida tied at 54. Well, a big defensive play back to defensive keys. Zepp Jasper tying up the yes. Florida offensive player, going to the floor, getting it away, and then Flanagan out of the pack with the two-hand stuff to tie the game at 54 no, points. No question. The thing they're doing right now, and we're defending pretty well, is they're taking their post player and pulling him out and leaving the lane open for drives. And we've been defending that drive pretty well. If we can keep doing this, we don't want to be putting them on the free throw line because everything they're shooting now is oh, off sure the drive. Is. Eighth straight capacity crowd this season and the 31st consecutive capacity crowd at Neville Arena. And they've seen some kind of game. Yeah, they have. Day. If you love defense, I didn't I didn't know you could love that kind of stuff. Gator ball out of bounds, baseline left, 20 to shoot for Florida. Castleton, Reeves, Lofton, Fudge, and Bonham for the Gators. Moore, Broom, Williams, excuse me, Green, Johnson, and Jalen Williams for Auburn. Gator ball out of bounds, baseline left. Lofton will trigger. We're tied at 54 with 3.32 to go in the second half. Yeah, they're going to screen away with Castleton and try to get him freed on a rebound situation. No, they didn't do it. Lofton and Florida. Oh, they called Jalen Williams on a foul before the ball was even inbounded. And now they're at the free throw line. Boy, oh boy. That's too late in the game to be Ooh. calling that stuff. If he had kept him from getting the pass, that'd be different, but he didn't. Bottom at the line for a one and bonus. And this, uh, I think Bruce Pearl is pleading the same thing, Sonny. Well, yeah, uh, and this guy, you don't want to put him on the free throw line. He's one of, he, well, everybody's a good yeah, free throw they're shooter. they're all good. perimeter players, no question. He's about 75, I believe. Trying to get Florida the lead with 3.32 to go. He missed it. Rebound, Auburn. Their first miss of the second half. Wendell across midcourt, crossover dribble down the left side. Drives underneath, underneath. Broom with a double hand stuff, and Auburn takes the lead. Gretel Windick Green with an unbelievable draw of the defense and a pass off for a layup. 56 54 Auburn. Auburn's first lead since the first half. Crowd erupts at Neville Arena. Gator ball. Lofton at the top, working on KD. Now to Bonham. Off the left side for Lofton. 10 to shoot for the Gators. Gets a screen as Lofton drives on Wendell, knocks him down. Charge on Lofton! Woo! Charge on Lofton! He dipped the shoulder. I've, seen a, I've never seen a better timed call. I love that because he really fouled. Boy, it looked to me like he got a step on Wendell, who somehow recovered and drew the charge. And Auburn has it, leading by two with 2.54 to go in the second half. We got to have somebody help. They're pressing full court, and we only got one down. We got to recognize this. Jalen will trigger, and he has Broom wide open at midcourt, hands to Wendell across midcourt. Auburn by two with the ball. 25 to shoot, 247 in the second half. Wendell Green between the rings, gets the ball to Broom. Janai outside the arc, bounce pass Jalen. Underneath, up, and missed it. Rebound, fought for. And Chris Moore has it off of him. Oh no, it went out of bounds off Reeves. They're giving it to us, I believe. Chris Moore knocked it out of bounds off Rees, I guess. And Auburn keeps the ball. 20 th second shot clock, 2.35 to go. Pat Adams called it our way, and I thought he was correct. I would have thought he's correct if he wouldn't have been correct. I agree. <laughs> Auburn out of bounds down the right sideline. Broom to Jalen. Open three. In and out. Rebound to the floor. Castleton Ooh, for the Gators. Got a good look. Sure did. It was on the mark just a little bit long. 
2.22 in the second half, Auburn by two. 56-54, Castleton at the top, hands the ball to Jones. Myron Jones now to Alex Fudge. Fudge at the point, off the right wing. Three ball in the air, no bad shot. Rebounded for Jalen, and they got Auburn for a foul. Well, the foul was on them. We fouled them before, but they fouled after really Broom, bad. Broom is called for the foul. As we pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. I, I think we need to see that. Castleton for a one in bonus. Senior out of Deland, Florida. Got it. Well, that's the first really missed call I've seen tonight. He, Broom, it looked like he had oh, position, Broom. and Castleton Cast went over his back or over his front to get the rebound, and they called the foul on Janai. Yeah, they just, he just moved Janai out of the way is what he did. Castleton can tie it with 2.08 to go in the second half. And he does. That was not a good call and a bad time to make a call like that. Auburn ball. 2.05 in the second with Florida tied at 56. Wendell across midcourt to Jalen. Look for the back door. Katie Johnson up. No, but a foul. Katie sent to the floor by Myron Jones. And Katie goes to the line for two with a minute 57 to go. Auburn with a little bit of uh, the same medicine for the Gators using the back door. Well, the back door's been open because they're fully denying everything to the wing right now. We can go back door. Their center's out at midcourt guarding our big guy. Katie Johnson at the line for two. KD with seven points on the night. All right, in the last few minutes here now, we've got to make sure we don't make a mistake uh, on defense because they're going to they're going to hold it until they can get in the lane on the dribble. Auburn's in the double bonus. The Tigers are shooting two as long as this game goes. KD gets a couple. Free throw missed. Now he'll hit this one. He's a gamer. We're tied at 56 with a minute 57 to go in the second half. Colin Castleton apparently has some blood on his right arm. Uh, I didn't see. They've got a certain amount of time to fix it before also, they have to go to their bench. But it also, affects us. It, it, it freezes KD Johnson at the free throw line. Absolutely, it affects us more than it does them. I don't think he's going to bleed to death with that. No, thing. but they've got it. They've got to take care of blood. And Florida goes to its bench as Castleton is being get off the line. to. And they're still in a timeout over there. Come on, guys. That's, All right, KD, knock this one home. Give the lead with a minute 57 to go. All right. Knock down the free throws, get a stop without fouling. Katie Johnson can give Auburn the lead with a minute 57 to go. Free throw in the air. Auburn has the lead. All right, now we'll press them, but I doubt if it will be for a steal. It'll be to slow them down a little bit. Kyle Lofton up the floor working on Wendell Green. Green, well, you know. Johnson, Broom, Jalen Williams, and Moore. Florida ball. Myron Jones at the point. Jones to the left wing. Now to Castleton. Castleton picked up by Broom. Backs Broom down. Down the left side. Back door. It's up. It's Reeves who gives Florida the lead. They're looking for the back door cut because we're denying the wings and they're trying to get our post player to guard a guy away from the bucket. 58 57 Gators, a minute 24 to go. Florida or Auburn basketball, KD. Out at the top, working on Lofton, gets a screen. Inside the arc, put it up underneath for Broom. To the hole and in where Auburn has the lead. I thought he got fouled, but he didn't. 14 for Janai, Auburn by one. 108 in the second half, they come to their feet at Neville Arena. All right, they're gonna try to go to a back cutter on the wing, so we gotta, we gotta guard that now. Reeves to Jones straight away. Under a minute to go. Lock Castleton out at the top to Jones. Spins, three ball at the top, no! Long rebound, out of bounds to Auburn. 47. With 47.6 seconds to go. All right, now I, there'll and be a timeout call. Florida's going to call a 30-second timeout. 
Auburn ball by one. 47.6 seconds to go in the second half. Full length of the floor to go for Auburn. Tigers 59, Florida 58. Only thing, the only thing we don't want to do is shoot too quick. But we don't want it. We want to make sure we work and get a good shot and put maybe go to the free throw line because they're going to be overplaying for sure. Janai Broom, a double double, 14 points, 11 rebounds. 13 points for Jalen Williams. 12 points for Wendell Green Jr. Double figures as well for Kowasi Reeves with 15 for the Gators and 10 for Myron Jones. And Auburn has the ball with 47.6 seconds to go. And Auburn leads by one, 58, excuse me, 59-58. A game that has featured 10 ties and 12 lead changes. Yeah, the question with a clock like it is with 47 seconds, do you take a, the best shot you can get as quick as you can or do you wait? And that's what they're talking about in the uh, in the huddle. Wendell Green, Janai Broom, Jalen Williams, Chris Moore, and KD Johnson for Auburn. Reeves, Castleton, Jones, Lofton, and Fudge for Alabama, or excuse me, for Florida. Auburn right. ball. They're going to try to keep the ball out of the hands of Wendell Green, so somebody else has got to get it. Inbound KD Johnson to Jalen Williams, now to Wendell Green. All right, difference in the shot clock. 41 seconds left in the game. Wendell across midcourt, 20 to shoot for Auburn. Tigers by one. Right wing, Chris Moore. Oh, we got him cleared out. They Top of the circle it. for Broom. One dribble now to KD Johnson. He's double teamed. Into the corner, Williams throws it away. Florida ball. A steal by the Gators. Fudge we, took it away. Lofton across midcourt. They can work for a final shot, and they call a timeout. 18 seconds left, and now they're going to go to the high post first out high and if, try the cutters. If Jalen is able to get the pass, Auburn has a wide open layup, but Fudge closed in on Jalen and took it away. 59 58 Auburn, 18.2 seconds to go. I think they're going to try and I think they're going to try and work for a shot that draws a foul. Try well, to get course. it on the low post. The big key here is making sure we send five guys to that defensive board if a shot goes up. Yep. Don't allow, don't, do not allow them to get a second shot. The other thing is make sure you defend the three-point line. Now, the first thing they're going to do is try to get into the lane on yeah. the dribble well, if you do and, that. And their back door has been very effective tonight. Yeah, Got to watch for that. Denying Can't overplay on the wing. Yeah, denying is not going to be the thing to do right now. You might let them catch it, but do not let them back cut you because we got all. They're going to make our post player play all the way out past the three point. Auburn 59, Florida 58. 18.2 seconds to go. Of course, the shot clock is off. Gator ball with Auburn leading by one. All right now, no foolish fouls. Wendell Green Jr., KD Johnson, Janai Broom. Chris Moore and Jalen Williams for Auburn. That's the five for the Tigers. They're in the double bonus. Auburn's in the double bonus. They're shooting a one in bonus. Yes. If Auburn fouls and it's not a shooting foul. Gators with Myron Jones, Colin Castleton, Alex Spudge who has the steal, Kowasi Reeves and Kyle Lofton. Now they'll make, they'll let Castleton make the pass because they, can't, they, they don't want to put him on the post. They, they, they Loft, don't think we can defend that. Lofton will trigger to Castleton. Castleton hands to Lofton. 14 seconds to go. Auburn by one Florida ball. Castleton high post, faces the basket, drives down the lane, and dribbles it off his foot. Ahead more to Wendell Green. Wendell to the hole with the left hand. He got it! Auburn by three. Oh, oh. Gator ball. Don't foul. Lofton shoots it from three-quarter court. Auburn wins. Auburn wins. 61-58. What a play. I don't know what to say. What a play. Colin Castleton was driving down the right side of the lane and dribbled the ball off his foot. Auburn got a breakaway. And Wendell Green Jr. drove and gives Auburn the three-point win. Tigers 61, Florida 58. Wow. What an opener to what the Southeastern opener. Conference season. What a game. Yes, indeed. You don't get them any better than this. 14 apiece for Wendell Green and Janai Broom, the leading scorers for the Tigers tonight. You can score points too with the Chick-fil-A app. Download or open the app to place an order. Earn and redeem points with the Chick-fil-A app. War Eagle, eat more chicken. Auburn, 21 in one or two, 
two and one this season in one possession games this year. Florida 0 and two in one possession games. Auburn 61, Florida 58. Stay tuned. The Regions Bank Post Game Show is next. This is the Auburn Sports Network. The Auburn Tigers Today podcast keeps you plugged into the Tigers like nowhere else with Andy Burcham's weekly coaches interviews, post game audio, and Jacob Hellman's comprehensive This Week in Auburn Athletics feature. It's the only podcast that keeps you current on everything happening around Auburn Athletics. From Jordan.